Oh, <laughs> you better hope you roll hot, man. <laughs> oh, that's insane. Gosh, I guess I'll dice out. Uh, it's fine. Yeah, so I could I could do that. <clears throat> I should fucking wow my computer. Usually I do the computer down here, and then when I bought these, I could literally just connect live right to here, so I don't have to bring the computer down. That's like way better than having to walk around a laptop or something. So and look, I could just like switch the views top to bottom. Mm -hmm. I like that it also shows what the audio level is. So yeah. like if someone's standing next to it, but you see if someone's blowing it out. Dude, it picks up so much good audio. audio. Like if it's so much good audio. audio. Like if it's these. Like that's yeah. the audio, yeah. I don't have any microphone, mic, or anything like that. It is Here's legit. Here's some counters. He plays also Tau, Gene Sailor Colt. Uh, Tyranids, uh, Eldar, um, getting rid of Dark Eldar. Really? They just got the new buff. Yeah, but like I got rid of half the army already, so I don't really even have a list. Got it. Plus, uh, Nolan has to buy that army for the sixth time. <laughs> and probably get it commissioned again. <laughs> uh, he knows. You know, he knows he loves that army. He yeah. just keeps selling it for some reason. And then buying it back. <laughs> or get a 3D printed. Get all of his nids were 3D printed. Or most of the nids. But today, uh, we're talking about the stream cameras. So we got two cameras hooked up. We got one going straight down. We got one going straight at us. This is a Patreon only stream. Uh, so if you guys are watching this, it's because you guys are part of the Patreon. I'm not going to be uploading this to YouTube. Um, Red light means there, right? Yeah, and then I think if I hit over there, it turns to that. Oh, that's so cool. Uh, <laughs> so we're moving into a new home. Uh, I got a house uh, signing on Thursday, so we're gonna have a permanent stream set up. Uh, so that's something I'm looking forward to for 2024. Uh, but there's gonna be a lot going on in 2024. I wanna do a lot more gaming streams, uh, tactical videos, all yep. the fun stuff. Like, fucking blow up once we start doing the tactical stuff. So uh, we need 2,000 more subs at 10K. Once we hit 10K, it's, it's a hard game to get into. Oh, God, so hard. <laughs> but not just that, but like putting out content that people actually watch oh, yeah. and learn from. What do they call that? Evergreen content? Something like that? What's it that? It doesn't really matter like if something changes. You can still watch that video. Yeah. Yeah, at least for the edition. <laughs> So the 10th edition, there's so many rules that people just or, wrong, or They so. keep changing how things work. Yeah. Or data sheets. Like coming in from reserves now, doesn't it counts as a normal move, so you don't move, but it's not actually a normal move. It doesn't trigger strats. It's like Overwatch. You can't Overwatch, you can't use Mist of Demos. Hmm. Well, I mean, you're coming outside nine anyway. So I can't yeah. use it anyway. Well, if I three inch deep strike. Well, doesn't that still count? You arriving from deep strike counts as no. Nope. You count. Source. You count as have having made a normal move, mm -hmm. and then it's they explicitly said does not trigger strategies. It they said the only reason we said counts as a normal move is to tell you you can't then move a second time, or fire heavy weapons. Yeah, or get the bonus on heavy weapons. So if you deep strike within three inches of me, I can't miss the demos out. Nope. 
And with disembark, that's the same thing, right? Disembark is the same thing after you've moved. So anytime you disembark counts as making a, a normal move if the transport moved. If you disembark before, then you know it's normal because you might actually make a move then. Okay. So if the disembark itself, though, is not a move. So if the vehicle moves up and then you disembark three inches away, but now you're within nine inches of, let's say, mist. Yeah. You can then mist away. No. Nope. So they, they explicitly called out transports too after the transport is moved. Mm -hmm. It counts as making a normal move, mm -hmm. but does not trigger any stratagems that would trigger on a normal move. That, that makes no sense. <laughs> like, like why? <laughs> so I, basically, my I, stratagem I, that says if you end your movement within yeah. nine inches of me, it I just, can't miss. Just like if someone's advancing or doing a normal move towards you. You can't miss any time someone deep strikes. Like if I shoot you and do a normal move... Mm -hmm. With the chronomancers, you can do it. Because that's a normal move. Like an actual normal move. <clears throat> yeah, so this is something that they fall back. This is something that they could very well change, but I'm just gonna bring it up here. Because I had to read it again. <clears throat> Alright. Real quick, uh, my list is posted, same with uh, Dan's. Yep. But we're doing the LVO list for Necrons and then the five Dread Knight list for Grey Knights. I ran this twice so far and actually performed pretty well. The only thing I changed was I took first of the fray out on one of my grandmasters, <clears throat> took out a henchman squad, and added a Codius. Okay. Because I think Codius getting the extra CP from all the armies that have CP bonuses now is yeah, definitely going to well. be beneficial. The auto CP from Necrons as well. Yeah. You're going to get that. You're going to be getting that. Is it on a 4 plus or you just get it? 2 up. 2 up. So it, it, it could fail. It could, it could fail. It could. Um, but so I added him. We got Drago, ten Terminators. They can now teleport assault turn one. Um, as long as you go sec. Yes, and then make the charge. And then the assassin does her thing. Uh, five Dread Knights. Three of them are regular Dread Knights with the hammer, side cannon, flamers. Two Grandmasters. I already told you the one with the sigil. Mm -hmm. One unit of strikes, and then three Tech Priests. The apothecary is going to be the Tech Priest. So they're just going to make you hit on twos with the Dread Knights yep. repeatedly. And you can actually heal multiple of them. So let's say I have three tech priests oh, near so you one can dread. Oh, stack them on the, mm -hmm. the same dread. Yeah, so it's usually there's two of them near two others. So kill the dread, uh, the dread knight. Really want to? Yeah. Otherwise, it's probably going up. They're going to heal two d three. Okay. Or three d three. Most of the time, two d three. Yeah. Um. Maybe we should change the camera so they can actually see the uh, the armies over there. But, yeah, they um, can't really see it. It's only top down. So see the whole table. The uh, <laughs> important. Uh, Necrons, Hypercrip Legion, they can do the same thing if they go second. As long as I board, if I pick them up off the board at the end of your turn, I can then, as long as the unit has Deep Strike, Deep Strike on turn one. Yeah, so, so, that, means I, so that means I can do it with the Monolith. <laughs> and then I can Eternity Gate with the Monolith to pull a second unit next to it. Yeah. Fun. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's, um, two Catan as the Nightbringer and the Void Dragon, Illuminator Zeris, 30 Immortals, the two squads with the Gauss Blast, um, tech, um, Chronomancers, mm -hmm. so they shoot and move five inches after they shoot. Um, the one squad, uh, we'll say it's with the, the Circle, has the, I can pick up four units a turn rather than If he's in reserves. Got it. And then the other unit, the one with the like little flame chaos y looking thing, with Tesla, they have the Plasmancer. So they uh, do sustain hits two on fives and sixes. All immortals reroll ones to wounds. They reroll wounds if you're on an objective. And that unit in particular rerolls ones to hit, but if it was placed on the battlefield this turn, it rerolls all hits. You know what I still don't understand? Is yeah. you arriving from Deep Strike and me not being able to miss. <laughs> That's what I don't get. <laughs> like, how, how is that? Well, that That's right the whole purpose, as Jax. Uh, uh, yeah. So, I guess we'll see who sets up. I didn't even set up the dice over there. I got it too. Cool, you can set it over there. Alright. <laughs> Just walking on. Okay, I'm gonna have... Uh, two locusts, 
destroyers walking on, death marks, and a deep strike. Let's not break that guy. Shooting phase, I uh, choose a vehicle within 12, I think. Might be 8. And then... Minus 8. D, uh, do D3 mortal wounds to him. And uh, I get half of that back as health. So if you roll 1, you get one. normally 2. And he's a huge pain. Which oh, which one of your guys uh, ignores modifiers, if anyone? I don't have them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because even then, I, I would have to... Like, the Grandmaster with the 10 Paladins could probably kill a Satan now, but it's like... The Tesla Squad in Reserves. Okay. Everything else is starting on the board for reasons. This fucker. <clears throat> Thirty inches to quarter. Yeah. Okay. Always happens. <clears throat> there we go, crew. Strikes. Can you hold this over there for a second? Of course. Thank you. <clears throat> So come out like right here. Measure six inches so they can get on the other side of the wall. You're just gonna keep the point, aren't you? I don't yeah. That doesn't really change much. You've thought about this all day. Back to where you're going. <laughs> oh, and a Lunar Zerus has loan up, if you forgot, as long as he's within three inches of another unit. That seems good. Uh, my Tech Priest had that as well. Okay. The same thing. So it's what your hammers, or is it higher? Oh, it's strength fourteen, right? Strength fourteen on the hammer, strength ten on the heavy side cannon. Okay. So shooting is going to struggle a little bit into the Catan, but melee maybe not. Yeah, the tank shock with fives. Last time. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they are monsters. Maybe you'll actually uh, roll, right? Yeah. Uh, they can't advance and charge. Only the Dread Knights. Okay, just not the Grandmaster mm -hmm. Dread Knights. Which I don't know why. Reasons. Yeah, they do have a 1 CP strat that I can do a a 2 CP strat. Okay. I have a strat where you can't shoot me outside 12 inches. But you don't care about that. <laughs> All right, that's my. Oh, I got a monolith. I got a place. Got a giant ass monolith. 
<laughs> Are you doing tactical or fixed? I am doing tactical. How about you? Tactical. Because we are great at this. Pull the cards over here. How's the uh, the audio level look? Does it tell you that? It's just buffering a little bit, which kind of sucks. I'm using the Wi-Fi from upstairs, mm -hmm. but it seems to be good, pretty good right now. <coughs> All right, so we'll see who goes first. You can All use right. my die if you want. Yeah, let's just do that. Okay, probably a lot easier. Cool. I got a four. Five. Oh, I don't want to go Necrons first. go first. I don't want to go <laughs> first. Teleport salt. All right, so these guys are just back up. I think both of us wanted to go second, right? Yeah, hundred percent. That's annoying. <laughs> it's a game of fighting for second. All right, take it away, right. sir. Well, I can't pick anything up. So, like, uh, <laughs> what is it? CP right here. In the middle? Uh, yeah, I'll keep it. All right. That's the turn. Which one? Um. So you go two, right? No, I go. Uh, yeah, I go to two. All right. I'm gonna see if I go to two as well, and I do. Oh, look at that! Because it works off the board. It's gonna be a stupid dice out of the way. All right. Well, let's see what we have to do. Let's see. That's your deck. This is my deck. Seems good. Bring it down, <laughs> extend battle lines. Well, I can always get that. Well, that one's easy. So the scarabs have to be within six inches of a cryptic. Cryptic. Are and then, the and then they cryptic? No. Okay. Then they become OC one. Got it. Uh, it just sets it to OC so I can choose order on my turn. Got it. Like if they're battle shocked or something stupid like that. Something stupid. We're undead robots. Why would we ever be battle shocked? Yeah, that makes sense. Set that were leadership seven. All they right, should, they should be what eight. <laughs> I feel eight. No, it's supposed to go lower. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Lower five. Lower is better. Five makes sense. It needs to be fearless. Abaddon's right? five. Um, so we're gonna advance the uh, the immortal squad that's uh, closest to the wall, the one with deep strike. One inch spread. So that kind of tells me uh, <laughs> they're not they're not doing it. <laughs> yeah, they're not doing it. That guy can't go there because that is a six-inch move, and then it would be six. So probably should have deployed up there. Can you advance and charge? No. Okay. There's no way to advance and charge. There's no way to uh, fall back and charge in this list. Okay. It would be like the Royal Warden that does that. Okay. Uh, if he's a cryptic, well, he could possibly get there. Um, so I guess they can just stay there. I don't need to go out in the open. Bring it down is pretty a nothing, pretty big nothing burger right now. Um, it's good to keep it though. <laughs> I mean, I have to do it, but like, do I? I almost feel like I get rid of it. I mean, like holding all that for vehicles. I know. <laughs> uh, we're just gonna advance the uh, the monolith. That squad's gonna stay put. Six. Speed what on the mod? Eight. So he is getting you your uh, broken not, shit. That sounded like I just broke the model. <laughs> All right. Wilmer uh, Zeris will uh, advance him. Four. So he'll move 12. Yeah. And he's counting as infantry? Yeah, he's infantry. <laughs> that makes sense. It makes a lot of sense. Don't you dare say otherwise. <laughs> uh, we'll advance the scarabs. Six, so they're moving 16. Gotcha, so that's on the opposite one. Yep, because he's a crypt deck. So why'd you move the monolith up then? Just hold to hold take that the objective? objective. Yeah. Is this a hold one, hold two? And then 15 um, at the end? Vital ground. This is... I think so, yes, that's the assumption. <laughs> that's the assumption I'm operating under. 
Tactical, tactical. Uh, you, me, two, two. Yeah, it, oh no, no, it is uh, two points for your home objective, five points for no man's land, six points for enemy objective. So are we supposed to get rid of the center objective? Probably. I think so. Well, then I'm not going to send those scarabs there. Let me grab the card. Help if we uh, know the rules in the mission, huh? That would have been good. <laughs> That's not it. Do you have it there? Total ground. Because if it's what you're describing, then we get rid of the center. Remove the objective marker no man's land closest to the center of the objective. Alright, so that's nothing there. So then you can just redeploy your uh, scares if you want. Put that over there. <clears throat> well, good, good call on us asking what the mission is. <laughs> <laughs> after what? deployment, after we start turn one. <laughs> Where else were we going to deploy? Let's, yeah. let's be honest here. Yeah. So just the screen out down here, make it so that you have to spend CP to get close to that. Scarabs are four uh, wounds, right? They are four wounds, T2, six up armor. The big base guy has loan up. This guy? Yeah. Yeah, as long as he's within three of another unit, he has line up. Yeah. And he's T8, two up armor, four of involved, four up kill, no pain. So he's a, a pain in the butt to kill. T8. Yep. Four up kill, no pain. You can attack this ginormous. He is awesome. He's a big boy. He's my favorite. I still gotta finish painting him. You gonna keep him blue? Yeah. <laughs> you just like moving all your shit around. <laughs> it's I, like, yeah, I gotta keep... going first. It's like, what do I do? <laughs> I was like, this is not how this list plays. Like, what, what is going on? So he would have come down here because he doesn't have to go over there. Yep. Uh, advance uh, Void Dragon. He's moving nine. So you said they move fourteen. No, they only move eight. The big the guys ones, move fourteen. Yeah, because they can advance. Yep, advance the shoot. So and their vehicles, so they would have to go around. Yep, they have fly. Basically, you'd have to go around. This is yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but like this thing, I would just move right through. Yeah. Yeah, because those are just two inches, right? Yep. Don't go there. And we got scarabs over there. We'll just advance them because five inches. Feeling, what did I screw up here? Where can you come in? <laughs> Rapid ingress. <laughs> Can't do that. At least with, not with first of the fray. I don't have a lot of shooting when I come within three. It's just bolters. Yeah. Like two side cannons, so it's not like a. It's, it's more, I just don't want you just like taking the objective. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, no, I don't, if, I don't if you want to take time. that, you can take that. That's fine. Well, that would be your only objective, so I might have to. Yeah. This What's the obstacle with that thing? Eight. What? Yeah. So you're going to have to put a lot on it. I think that's my turn. Alright, cool. So, you got extend for five? Yep. And, um, Are you ditching it or keeping it? Yeah. Bring it down. I go in my gut. I'm getting rid of it. Alrighty. So you got five. <clears throat> now, at the end of your turn, I'm picking up my assassin. I am picking up the Grand Master. Mm hmm. I am picking up the Terminators. All right, so this thing has how many wounds? 22. 22. 
I guess this is a stress test. This game is just practice. Nothing crazy, right? Yeah, nothing, right? Nothing, nothing crazy. crazy. We're just we're, practicing. We're, we're just playing two armies that just deploy every turn. It's fine. Yep, we're just nothing practicing. Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. Alright, so we'll have to pick him up soon. Oh, you already got the points. Cool. Yeah, so, so we both go up to three, right? Yep. So three and three. Alright, so we got one squad, two squad. 14 puts us to here. 24 doesn't get us. Three squads. So one, two. Do you know what your objectives are? Oh, you have to pick them. Yeah, have to pick them up first. first. So we got one, two, three. Uh huh. And then he can get out to the back of his base. 12, 13, 14, front of his base. Alright, so that'll do that. The thing is free. Yes, but do we just shoot this fucker? Eight. Can't really see him. Can't see him either. There's probably a, a line like over here to see part of him because he's got the spear yep. and everything. I think I have to be holy with him now. Yeah. Alright. Uh, so I don't think I'm gonna get a lot of shots on that thing, which kind of sucks. And that is Titanic. So like I just have to toe in to see through. Right? Okay. So <clears throat> they move up, shoot those fucks. Uh, activate with the terminators. The terminators going here. Charge in. Dead wounds. Maybe they just need sixes. Like it's basically just all sixes. <sighs> okay, so I think I have to pick up this guy. Master. Yep, so Grandmaster has to get picked up. Yep. Uh, There's gonna be a lot of this. I could spend once. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's like the movie <laughs> phase. It's not, it's not even technically your turn yet. <laughs> so if I just advance, I can still shoot him. I can hear Jack in my head right now okay. telling me about how long I spend on my movement phase. Right. I can hit, I can hit. Uh, he has to move up. Alright, so these guys are definitely coming up. So, Terminators, Grandmaster, Kodiaz. Kodiaz is already off. He's coming in from the reserves. Okay. Uh, I mean, um, the assassin. assassin. Yeah. That's your three. Yeah. Yeah. So they got, what, a six inch charge because of, uh, Drago? Yeah. So good that you can't overwatch me. You can't overwatch anyway. Good. Fuck this guy's Titanic. Alright, Drago, alright. And he's not minus one damage or anything? No. But you can get a four pinball and save in combat. Yeah, and I'm a two up armor. Space. Six. So, like, what is that? Eight, Not good enough. <laughs> AP4 before, like, a 4-up invuln, if I'm in cover, actually makes me make a decision there. Yeah, something like that. Okay, so I guess we'll do that. Uh, here, get picked up. And come down here. 14. Plus in the hit, plus in the hit. Plus in the hit. Plus in the hit. So one, two, and this three. So this guy, nothing special, just the Grandmaster, then Sigil. Nice. I got it. He's, he's the, the cool looking one has Sigil? Yep. Um, and you can't get line of sight unless I advance, which will be here. So he's going to advance. 18. Shoot that fuck. He's going to come up to there. He's going to come up to there. 18, 18. Alright, so I'm going to spend a CP. He's advancing. He can advance and shoot now. Yep. 
Um, this guy's going to Vince. We'll see how much damage it takes. I have no idea what to expect out of these. Neither guys. do I. This is the stress test right now. <laughs> Alright, so plus one, plus one. They don't have plus ones. These guys made this sticky and they're just going to advance back. <clears throat> These guys are going to, I guess he can scooch over a little bit. Yeah, as long as you can see some of that pyramid. Yeah, and then I'm within 24 this way, which is a cool little trick. These guys now get to auto advance 12. I should probably join the chat. <laughs> is there a way to do that? Or, oh, I would have to be a Patreon. Yeah, I can text you the, uh... The chat's up here. It's yeah. only, uh, John is, talking. Is the mic still cutting out, or is it good now? Someone said it was cutting out. When yeah, was someone let us know what you guys think. Ask questions. What the fuck are you doing? Why are you moving all everybody, your whole army on one side of the table? It's a great question. I do not know. Uh... Listen. Oh, let's see what go secondaries we just, got. Just go all the way. Be great if I could bring it down. That'd be fucking <laughs> awesome. It'd be five points. Behind me lines and this gets it. Uh, well, you got that guy over there. I guess one of your uh, Dread Knights went in advance, and you just walk over and do it. Because you can advance and shoot, right? So I'm thinking... Let's see, they're out. So only investigate in one corner? That's not great. No, but I really wanted his side cannons to shoot. And do you want to drop someone in my deployment center or two? Not really. Yeah. I, I wouldn't want to drop you either. Yeah, this is a bad, bad turn one. So, I mean, because we're really testing just to see how much this could wither. Mm -hmm. um, so the one thing is, like, if you tap it, I can't pick it up. I guess I'll investigate with the assassin here. Just in one. Oh, okay, drop it down. Yeah, yeah and, two. and then we'll do the other one. What, the, um... Is that an apothecary? That's a, uh... That's a tech marine, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah, he's within nine. They're good there. So, 30 is... Right there. Oh, look at that. It's almost like I meant to block out Deep Strike. Sounds like I'm playing an army that deep strikes. So we can't stay what, What's the uh, OC on the Dread Knights? Four? Four, I think. I would hope it's four. You did tell me it was T8 and I died a little inside. <laughs> Alright, so he's, he's gonna do it over here. Make that, uh, make this dude, um... Within three and within nine. Yeah. Yeah, so we're gonna go investigate, investigate, give him plus one to hit. Mm -hmm. And I think that is, uh, that's it. So, uh, we're gonna shoot. So let's, I guess, just start with the easy one. He's gonna shoot all the shit into the scarabs. Boo. <laughs> so we got uh, two, four, six, hitting on twos. All hit, winning on twos. Yep. All right, give me AP. Four AP two. No four problem. AP two. Yep. No two problem. damage. Three damage. Three damage. Mm -hmm. One dead. Two dead. All right. Then we got two D six. Nine. Two four six eight nine. Winning on twos. Uh, four five six AP one. Six AP one. Yeah. No cover. No cover. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, it's a flamer. The flamer has range? 18 inches. What? Yeah, pretty far. Alright. What kind of flamer is that? The heavy flamer. The heavy incinerator. Ain't no flamer. So we're gonna do this back guy. 
Yep, <clears throat> into there. We got two, four, six. Any strats you want to do on? Uh, you're all less than AP4. AP2. Yeah, no strats. You ignore, you ignore cover yeah. <laughs> on everything. Well, no, just, just, the heavy. just the heavy and the incinerators. Okay. But you're out of range on the incinerators? On this guy. Okay. Not these guys. Yeah. And so you're starting with the far Back guy. Yeah. Gotcha. So hitting on twos. Uh, two miss. Nice. And then uh, fives. We got nothing. And then the next one, we'll go this guy. Yep. Uh, miss, miss, miss. And fives. Uh, two forps. Two forps, because AP2. Yep. No cover. Yep. Uh, so it takes one, three. Takes three. Goes to 19. And then we got 2d6. Where did that go? Three. Uh, two AP1, no cover. Two AP1, no cover. Three ups. Take one. Goes to 18. One yeah. damage. Yep. And we got two for six. With the two and twos. One miss. And then fives. What's the strength on it? Four AP two, no cover. Strength ten. Four AP two, no cover. Uh, give me three six nine. Nine. Okay, so you hit kind of hard. <laughs> yeah, well, you failed three out of four. Yeah. Uh, two D six. Uh, seven. Two four six seven sixes. Give me two one AP one, no cover. One AP one. Three. One damage. It helps that uh, your dice Sorry, aren't four, liking six. me. That's why I wanted you to use them. Uh, last guy. <laughs> Threes. I'll hit. Fives. Give me three P2, no cover. Fours. Man. Six damage. Goes to two. Three. Uh, nothing. Yep. And then we got... So do I save for the charge, or just shoot you off the objective? Probably just shoot you off the objective. I would just try to shoot him. Yeah, because I don't want to waste the three inch charge. So we got one, two... That's once per game. Three, yeah. One, two, three, and that was without a Dread Knight. Yeah. And only two of them hit on twos. So one, two, three... All right, four. all right. Hey, hey, stress test, right? Yeah. I'm spending... 900 points in my army <laughs> to kill how many points? 350. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's all right, I, I disrespected their shooting a little bit. So, so, did, so did I. Hitting on threes. It's good that you know and know they're Necron players now. <laughs> <laughs> so when I see them at a tournament, they just throw them in my face. You're like, this guy doesn't do anything. Forget the ignores cover. Six, two up saves. Six, two up saves. Mm -hmm. Three, six. Made them all. All right. Then we got three, six, fives, one AP1. Cover? No. Two damage. Are you going to make me uh, spend on that? Probably. I'll spend on a CP. <laughs> My three up. <clears throat> oh, come yeah, on! Chains are past! There's a blow. I don't think anything's in range. Nope. That stinks. We did it, boys! <laughs> we did it! God, this is so lagged. My hands are in the air, and it's not even on YouTube yet. Alright, so, so they'll know. They're like, holy shit. One, two, three, four Dread Knights. And two side cannons can kill Monolith. Yeah. Probably not on average, right? Um, yeah, probably. You probably rolled like one or two below average, right? You failed three out of four. I wasn't. Wounds. It, it seemed like you wounded on average. He didn't wound at all. Yeah. Um, it didn't seem like you, like, he wounded, wounded three. He wounded one or two, and then he wounded two. Or yeah. Three. Yeah. So. Well, Maybe. if there's one thing you learn from this, it's just roll better. Just exactly. make your saves. Make your saves, bro. Make your saves. So they're done. Uh, it's fine. You don't have I to I think play that's well. me. I only investigate for four. I'm going to not ditch behind enemy lines. Okay, I think so I can get it next turn. Probably. Yeah, because all that shit's gone. <laughs> I'm uh, on the back foot. Uh, so, I'm losing the monolith like that for free. 
<laughs> You're like here. <laughs> Alright, so I only get four. I kind of deployed a little bit stupid for getting extend turn one, because I forgot that the middle. We both did. Yeah. Alright, so you control the back one for two? Yes. So it is a whopping seven to four, sir. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. You go up to four? Alright, so at the end of your turn... I'm gonna put myself at four, just because I know I'm gonna get a two up. <laughs> Alright, so what do we want to pick up here? Because we're gonna get two random cards. Um, and it's not gonna be bring it down, it's not gonna be extend. Let me know if you need another beer. I will. Uh, especially after losing the monolith. There's so much jank in I know! <laughs> I've seen the LVO memes. Yeah, so that, yeah, the. He comes in with a chair! <laughs> the Undertaker behind the dude. <laughs> LVO thinking they're gonna win, uh, or Eldar thinking they're gonna win LVO, and it's gonna be <laughs> Undertaker. <laughs> so I'm gonna leave them there because I might yeah, investigate signals. Yep. You always have to think about investigate signals. Always. Always, always comes Plan, at the. Plan, turn one, investigate. Always comes at the wrong time. Yep. All right, so that means that guy needs to stay there for investigate. Uh, we're definitely gonna pick up this squad here and not drop him. This is the deep strike squad. Yeah, this is the 20 minute movement turn. Yeah, it might be faster. Like I don't have a monolith to play with anymore. Like, <laughs> um, and I think that's gonna be Everything? Do I want to pick up a Lumen or Xeris? I feel like I need to still screen out back there, so I need some, someone to still stand back well, there. Well, you saw I picked behind the lines. Yeah. So, so I think he's going to stay down. Uh, so we'll just see what I get. I believe in the heart of the cards. <laughs> Deploy teleport homers. Engage on all fronts. Looks that good. seems real, real good. Yeah. Um, You'll literally just drop right there and get deployed. Then I need to drop in your deployment zone too. Which is way open right now. Yeah. Go for. It's just strikes back there? Yep. Just strikes. Strikes and cover. I don't like strikes and cover. They have two up. Armor can tell. What kind of weapons they got? Uh, AP2, two, two damage swords. AP2, two, two damage boulders. And one second. Alright, so I can't drop. You could overwatch with that guy. It's got oh. a 2d6 flamer. It's got 6 if you want 18 cover. inches. Yes. Yes, we learned this. Um, so we're probably going to have to use the death marks and a CP. The death marks and a CP is what we're going to have to use to do this. Huh. I don't want to like just lose my Catan for no reason either, because like I lost a monolith that shooting. That Grey Knights don't kill shit. No, they don't. <laughs> you you only need to skew five Dread Knights in a list to kill something. <laughs> Wait till they get in combat. That's what I'm excited for. So you want to see that guy or no? This guy? Mm -hmm. Um, Because like you don't need to come within three. Because you're already in my deployment zone. Yeah, we just need to see what nine inches is. Yeah, like that. And then nothing else over there can overwatch. So that's our deploy teleport homer squad. And then spend one CP. Do you have to? Yeah, because I have to override the strategic reserve rules. Can you just land him there? Well, and be within 19. Let's read this. Yes, yeah, you could be within 19. Let's see if it works this way. So he's in strategic reserves, but am I using strategic reserves to come in? No, if he has deep strike, then you're good. He doesn't have deep strike. No, then you can't come in my deployment zone. I'm reading the strat. <laughs> reading how the strat is worded. Comes within one turn ahead or something? No, it's a three inch. I think it over overrides it. Yeah, because they're a new fence. <laughs> yeah, because we got cool shit. Uh, so we need Hypercrypt, Strat, uh, Cosmic Precision. 
your movement phase. One Necron unit from your army that is arriving using the deep strike or hyper phasing abil abilities this phase. So, is this not hyper phasing? Or deep striking? Um, and he's not deep striking. So, that's kind of annoying. <laughs> so, the answer is no. So, do we have to use an immortal squad in this early? Should have picked up that guy. Which guy? Well, it's too late now, but what I should have done was picked up the guy back there. Um, then he'd be hyperphasing. Yeah, because Stormlord can do the... Um... Yeah, and then basically if I needed him, I could drop a strategic reserve back there to do it. Yeah, do that. That's fine. All right. Well, because we're but, testing... But you, I think you still need to spend a CP. I do still need to spend a CP. Yeah, because nine inches will put you in this to be within 19 up here. So you have to be a little bit out, unless you just want to spend the CP. I have to spend the CP. And then at least you can shoot. Where do you want to go? Um, shoot one up. What's the CP? Is that a battle tactic? That is, of course you'd ask that. Well, um, I'm about that, to... is, that is a strategic ploy. So no. no. Do you have any battle tactics? Yeah. I'm pretty sure I do. Let's see. Strategic boy, war gear, strategic uh, no, this detachment doesn't. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? So she does nothing. This is zero battle tactics. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like two. Oh, you're a reroll. I'm gonna battle tactic that. <laughs> my command reroll. <laughs> yeah. You're just gonna use that. Yeah, because I have nothing oh, so else to do. So now my command on. reroll is just gonna cost two now. Yep. That's awesome. Yeah. I'm still gonna spend it if I need to. <laughs> um. <laughs> Okay, so that will engage me on all fronts, but I still need to figure out where I'm positioning stuff. Where are we putting dudes? Where are we putting dudes so we don't lose shit for no reason? Like I said, 20, 20 minute movement phase for both of us. Um, so you could pick up... So would it be four Dread Knights shooting me? I can make sure of that. It could be three. It is a little bit different. A lot of guys are asking about the uh, terrain. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, it's literally, I think, $99. Yeah, and I think I looked it up and it was $99 for the um, clear, all the uh, bases, right? I think you get the plexiglass too. Okay. But it's a uh, free shipping if you use the word dirtbag. Oh, look at that product placement, right? Look at that. Um, we're gonna advance the Nightbringer. I don't like this. Fourteen shoot twenty-four, right? What's that? On your dread knights, move fourteen shoot twenty-four. Eighteen and twenty-four. Eighteen and twenty-four. Not move eighteen. So they move fourteen. Yeah. They have a flamer. That we yeah. found out shoots 18. Okay. But it was like the other gun that and was shoots 24. Um, the Flamer, I think, did two damage to you, Mom. It did. It did. <laughs> Which was enough. <laughs> it, was. We learned it was enough. It, it was. <laughs> it was enough. Um, what the fuck? I don't like being in this position. This is stupid. Dude, just pick up your fucking Satans and try and make a 9 inch charge. Like, <laughs> that's what nine. you have to do. I think that's what you should be testing out this game. Nine inch charges? Is, can I make a nine inch charge to kill Dread Knight? I already know that I can't make a nine inch charge. Um, I know that for a fact. Alright, so. He's going there. I guess we're just gonna advance the uh, Void Dragon again. Uh, and. <laughs> running away. <laughs> So, I mean, the D6 plus one helps with the Satans. Mm -hmm. Just because, let's say I roll three, it's still a fucking three damage. Three damage. Yeah. You know? Yeah, it does help. Um, yeah, I don't like this matchup that much. Uh, I don't like you being able to drop on me. That's my, that's my thing. That's my <laughs> thing. I know it was your thing first, but yes. now it's my thing. Well, technically it was yours because you're older than me. <laughs> so you technically had this shit before Grand Incident. Yeah, we just didn't know about it. <laughs> We just woke up. Yeah, <laughs> this one just woke up. Yeah, this one just woke <laughs> this up. This Tomb World just came out of nowhere. All right, I think that's going to be my turn. Really? 
Yeah. Did, did you bring guys on? Are they in strategic reserve? They don't. They, they don't, don't come back down. They do not have. To so they just go in a strategic reserve. Yeah. Right. Nice. Forever. That's awesome. Until I choose. But these guys are actually uh, in strategic reserve, and this guy is as well. Okay. But he's just walking on. He's just walking on, uh, and then the other squad doing squad things. Cool. Um, so I'll get ten points. Oh, you're gonna shoot? You can shoot. Oh yeah. yeah. Try, the other, other squad's doing his things. Uh, three shots. Minus on the hit. All right, good talk. All right. Well, uh, his so own three is not more. So <laughs> when have you even hit that? So you got engaging all fronts for five. Yep. And deploy teleport homers for five. Great fucking turn. All right, so I control <laughs> one. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> it's gonna be a really low primary. Nice. Game. You're up by twelve though, so that's a lot. Yeah, but who are you gonna pick up, like? All right, so we are going to Let's see. give so got two. this guy plus one, this guy plus one, that guy plus one. We'll pick up both grandmasters. Yeah, we'll pick up both grandmasters. Pick up the strikes. Yeah, I'll pick up the strikes. And this bitch. Yeah. Oh, she doesn't want to get Gauss uh, cannons. <laughs> what, she yeah. have four wounds? I guess I could come down there and try and kill your dude. But then the Nightbringer. Oh, yeah, why didn't I put him next to Comes at, at me? I'll roll force this time. Or I could just try and kill your unit on the objective. Because then Void Dragon can't go through the. And if you do move, I can just fucking get the fuck out of there. So yeah, he's coming up. Probably coming down there. Yep. Oh, and I have behind the odds. So yeah. You kind of have to do that. Hey, you killed the scarabs. Alright. Plus one. You're too fast. Plus one, plus one. Too fast. Pick up, pick up. Drop her up. Uh, so one, two, three. Strikes, I guess I'll fucking stay there. Uh, At this rate, we're going to get the game two tonight. <laughs> Just re reset. <laughs> Monolith doesn't leave your deployment zone. <laughs> Until I want it to come down. All right, strikes going to go. And strikes will come down over here. Did you have someone on that point? No. So you're going to go with two primer? I only, yeah, I only two. Yeah. That guy on the point? Ah, oh, they should be. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And plus it's the Yeah. You step that all that's a temple target. Alright, which target do you want? <laughs> this one or that one? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> and extend, I just have to control one, right? So I get basically a ten. Um oh, that's real dumb. Yeah, so eight puts me on it. Yeah, you just like walk up there and take it. Um I wanted to say that one though. Okay. Just keep me over here. Yep. All right. Um, I mean, there's. It's literally like you're gonna get it. Yeah. So it's yeah. Just where I want you to go. Yeah. So I think if I put uh, the strikes here to try. No, I have to make that one sticky. Or if I just put the strikes here and then wait. So I got engage and teleport. Where is that? There it is. How many uh, wounds do these guys have? One. They have one wound each? Yeah, if you drop within 18, they can shoot you. Like teleport assault or move? Uh, if you come in from reserves within oh, okay. 18. Got it. Uh, the tech priest will just run over here. So what was the second thing you drew? Extend? Oh, you don't get two cards, dude. Oh. You, you have behind enemy lines. So extend the, is it one? Yeah. Where's my behind? I don't know, you put it somewhere. Can you put it, there it is. Okay. So behind and tempting target. So you're still tempted. But here, I'll shuffle it because we know that. Or do you care? It doesn't matter, okay? Because extend's it's, pretty it's, easy. <laughs> it's, a, it's a practice game. This guy is going uh, tempting to... target and behind keep. This guy, 
Why you use the app? <laughs> Keeps you honest. So go there. Go there. She might have to come down there. Did I peek him out? Let me know. Yeah, he looks like he's peeked out a little bit. Oh, I'm at five and you're at what? Six now? For what? Did you uh, spend any CP last turn? No, so five and five. Uh, no, you'll be at six. Why? Uh, you got three this turn, three last turn. One to advance and shoot. Oh, okay. Yeah. That was last turn? Yeah. That was so I can get my guy in range of the monolith. Which uh, turned out being needed. <laughs> Alright, so we got that, that. He's just fucking chilling over here. No, he doesn't have to go there. Outside 18. Because you don't have a tempting target. Oh, you do have a tempting target. Yeah, that was, was the one you got. That's the extent. Um, Alright, so over here, plus one to hit. Oh, you got it. Plus one to hit. And who's the other one? That guy. Yeah, one, two, three. Alright, so this guy is coming. Alright, so 30 inches puts me right here. So that's your two units in there, potentially. You are within... So you're within 16. So you need a 9-inch charge. For what? To charge him. Oh, With, okay. with the fucking dude. Um... Or just drop my assassin here, which is a lot smaller, which might be way smarter. Uh, I think that's what we're gonna do. So he's gonna go for what? Uh, low knot within three of somebody? No, he's not within. Okay. It'll auto advance. at 17, so that is a 11 inch charge. And then these guys come down with a 9. So you get the uh, heal within your um, within like deep strike now, right? For one CP. Oh, so they, they didn't buff it. No. So um, just this detachment has a one CP strat to choose a unit in reserves, and they can enact reanimation protocols. But didn't they fact that you can do it now out of like off the board? Uh, I think reanimation explicitly says you have to be on the board. Other abilities you can. Otherwise, that strat doesn't do anything, so. T5, 3 up armor, 1 wound. Q 
get out of here. <laughs> So you got what, two primary this turn so far and you got four for investigate signals last turn? No, that, that should be right. You said five. So I got two this turn and then I got four. Yeah, so you should be at six. Uh, math. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> I was like, nice. Well, that's why you got the app. I don't think I'm, uh, I don't think I'm 12 points ahead. All right. So I think that is, uh, where's my beer? I think that's my movement. We got no comments. I don't know if I'm just lagging with the comments. Yeah, maybe reopen it. Yeah, so no comments. Did you want to text me? Yeah, this text should be out. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, we can hand it off. It's fine. Daniel. All right, let me know if you can get that YouTube link. Josh Down is back as a fucking Patreon. Let's go. Josh Down signed up for a competitive Patreon mm -hmm. and then left the first day. What? So I thought it was like a, a billing error or something that happened. Did I was they, like, did they accept his. I was like, uh, Josh, what happened? <laughs> As it did, and then it just like, you know what? Just kidding. Alright, uh, this guy. This guy's gonna flame over here. We got nine. Two, four, six, eight, nine. We're gonna shoot the big guys. Big guns first. Hitting on threes, winning on twos. Give me three. AP two, no cover. So just one and three wounds. They're just telling you to kill me. That's that's all that's <laughs> happening in here. Just kill me. <laughs> Dizziness. Twos. So give me another I mean, another one dead and then dead. So they die. Yeah. So technically, oh. technically we're on the same side because like we hate chaos too. Oh, that's In fact, true. we have technology that prevents chaos from coming in. So like, you really <laughs> shouldn't be fighting right now. You're trying to stop the web, web uh, the the eye of terror, right? With your monolith shit. Yeah, they're just gonna close it all. Two uh, d six. They use knocked or whatever, whatever it's called. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Toughness five. T five, yeah. Threes. Give me four, five, six, AP1. No cover. AP1, so it's gonna be fours. Just one damage. Two dead. Two, four, six. Hitting on twos. All hit, but one, twos. Two, four, five, minus two, no cover. This no cover thing is kind of <laughs> obnoxious. Fives, uh, dead. Alright. Um, he is going to. I have to charge this guy so that I can back up on the VP. Because <laughs> I messed that up. Okay, uh, over here, we're gonna go flamer into the leader. Five shots. Two, four, yes. five. Anti infantry, two plus. Yep. Give me four AP2. Uh, you're shooting Zeros? Be careful. Yeah. Any cover? Uh, I don't believe so. AP2. AP2. Fours. Damage. I think she's only one damage. Do you want to check? Oh, yeah, I think her flame is on one damage. I remember uh, being real afraid of her shooting my characters before, but she's proven me wrong. AP1. AP2, one damage. AP2, one damage. It's AP3, two, two plus. Uh, it takes two damage. Nice. Goes down to seven. Oh, shit. Uh, then we got all of the bolters. And everything into them. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, look at that. I had the right amount of dice. I literally just did this two seconds ago. Alright. Hitting on threes? Yep. And then wounding on toughness six? Eight. eight. Oh my god. His team Wounding eight. on sixes. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Go Bolters! One, two, three sixes. Three sixes. Three no, sixes. no AP? No AP? Uh-uh. <laughs> oh, look at that! Alright, so that counts. Nothing. Here we go. Fives. 
Two AP two, no cover. AP two, fours, damage. Two damage. Each? Yep. So four? I don't like your dice. <laughs> <laughs> Shh, I'm supposed to sell them. Yeah, you're supposed to sell them. <laughs> don't buy these dice. They roll terrible. They only roll sixes for me. Where's Drago? I think it's AP2, two, two damage, no cover. With his my bites? Yeah, I made two uh, saves. Okay. I'm feeling the pain. What do you, uh, how many wounds left? Six, or five. Five left. We'll go uh, big guy, flamer, and shooting into him. Mm -hmm. So two, four, six. Hitting on two threes with that one. <sighs> T10. Uh, give me three AP2, no cover. Three AP two no cover fours for each six fours uh, takes two wow that's awesome that was three two six twelve <laughs> I feel like I'm getting revenge like revenge is happening right now from for, last time I don't know some, but what did I play you with last time a Seraptic and he just ran around doing. Doing things. The fucking gun guy. Uh, AP. AP one no cover. Threes. Just one damage. And fours. Nothing. That's four field and so good. All right, then we get the last guy. Everything into him. Uh, three six hitting on twos. Yep. Uh, you know what? Are they within twenty four? Uh, those guys. Yeah. So yes, last guy. Twos! Gonna live! Two misses. Threes. Three AP2, no cover. Three AP2, so four ups. One goes through. Three damage. Three damage, four ups. Takes one. Damn. Wow. Eleven. <laughs> We had a 12 and 11. <laughs> One, two, three, four. If you want to cover. Four. If you want, so threes. Wow. Don't tell wow. me. Don't tell me. <laughs> he lives with one. Oh my god. And I have no other shots. Darn it. <laughs> He's alive. Charging. Assassin. Gets it! Guys, dollar each. <laughs> One dollar each for the dice. That is all. What you're seeing too is you can have your opponent use them and they're just gonna roll like shit. <laughs> uh, and then you use them and they just roll amazingly. Uh, we're going into the... Uh, this new technology. We're in a combi. Um, is it about the same? Tien. Plus three. <laughs> is uh, 13. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> well, well Jonathan you're happy he charged me okay it'd be real funny if I killed the assassin back how many CP I got five oh it's totally worth it she already did her job so how many are stuck on the other side of the wall no one yeah I think I've rolled a 13 yeah well you shouldn't have done that back in my base back in my base Back my base, back my base. Shit. <laughs> Alright, Drago. <laughs> Fucking took your stardust Whoa. this weekend. His, his warp dust. His warp dust. Fucking high as shit on that. All right, uh, what are no, we doing? No, no, don't come on Calidus. The Calidus is not gonna do anything. You should start with it. Calidus is starting. She's gonna do five attacks. Auto wounding on sixes. Because I will interrupt. Auto wounding on sixes. Nine. One auto wound, so give me one AP two, or three, or four. <laughs> which, which is it? I think it's four. We're gonna make me look up his combat profile. AP I'm so, four. I'm so confident he's gonna win this. Just one? Well, that's so far. Okay, well, how many more? I hit four more. Yeah. I just want to see if you make it. Why? It's two damage. Oh, come on. 
Does he have an invul? Yeah, he has an invul. Oh, then just make your invul. Or not. That's fine. Two damage? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, cool. Damn, screw it. I'm gonna re-roll that. Two CP. <laughs> this orange. She literally caused you to roll two CP and kills your oh guy. God. <laughs> Oh no. my god, the Caldus for the win! The best Caldus has ever fucking done. Holy shit. You know what? I, I also wanted you. I didn't you, realize I was coming in such a hostile environment. I wanted you one more time. Because I'm strength five. Yeah, so strength five, I wanted you on five one more uh, time. Guys, remember, roll your fours. Just Holy roll, shit. Roll your fours. Alright, here's the question, Dan. This is this is what I wasn't sure against like other Necron players. Yeah. Is, do I kill the Stormlord or no? Uh, all he literally does is sit on the helmet jacket. But I also get a CP from you, which helps Grey Knights so much. You know? Just steal the objective from him. Don't kill him. But if I just tie him up in combat, you know? He's okay in combat. He's got devastating wounds and everything. She's hopping back. Not oh, that guy's there. Um, I don't think you kill the Stormlord because he doesn't do anything. He's just like, I'll hold your home objective screen on a quarter, things like that. I mean, he will do his once for a game, like, Mortal Wound thing next turn, because it's never going to come up again. Yeah, but again, would you kill him? Like, I'm basically... Because he can do secondaries for you, mm -hmm. right? Um, I think having the monolith, uh, the extra CP isn't as important, but it's still good to get, like... You're ahead, like, take away my CP. They're like, don't want to be, like, get two CP a turn. True, yeah. yeah. So I think we'll just, because some of these guys won't be able to get in anyway. Yeah. So we're going to pile in. Pile in. Pile in. Pile in. Yeah, I think in all cases you kill him. If you have the opportunity. Because the extra CP is, like, really good. Alright, so I think two guys actually he'll pile in hmm. this way and then hopefully pile back in on the other side of the wall. Cause like I'm I'm within one inch over here. This is looking real bad folks. And then pile in three inches that way. So I got one guy that's not in combat. One guy, okay. But we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven into the unit. Two into the Lord. Mm -hmm. No, we'll go three into the Lord. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six into them. Okay. Drag into them. All right. Three into the Lord. Six into the um, unit. The immortals. Yep. Um, and then Drago into the immortals. Yes. Okay. Uh, so we'll start with Demotech. So one. Oh, I would have spent two CP. For what? For our intervention. Ah. Am I within six or outside six? Let's see. Could you have been outside of six? Well, obviously. Yeah, so remember when I said put him on the other side? Yeah. Yeah, he's not in combat anymore. Just like that? Yeah. Yeah, because you don't want that. I said there. Yeah, I can't get anywhere else. All right, so I lose one attack, so we're going to put that extra attack on the Lord onto the unit. Okay, so two on the Lord. Two on the Lord. Six on uh, the Immortals. Yep. Drago on the Immortals. Yes, so the Lord. Hitting on threes. Sixes do auto. Mm -hmm. And strength six. Uh, e5. Threes. Give me five AP2. Four pinball. Two go through damage. Just two each. Two each goes to two. Uh, that's it for the Lord. And then we got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Hey, on threes. And then threes. Yep. That's a lot of ones and twos. Yeah, buddy. 
All right, two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven minus two. Eleven minus two, so fives. Two each. So that's five, nine. Do they have an in ball? No. Okay. Can you give them a number ball? Nope. Did I go? Two, four, six, three. How many did I kill? Nine out of ten. All right, so let's see if we can finish them off. Uh, two auto. Uh, do you have a psyker in that unit? Do you have a demon? <laughs> no. Are they demons? Uh, no. Alright, give me their T. Alright, two, four, five. Five AP. F fuck. I'm just trying to go. Five AP. Fuck. I think he's AP four, three damage. But I shall check. I'm gonna have to switch out these dice here, so. <laughs> What's up, Ryan? Virago is AP4. AP4? Yeah, three damage each. Alright, so you kill one. That's the one guy. And then four go into the Chronomancer. He has a four up in Vuln. Uh, he dies. He's got a four up in Vuln. Yep. Nice. Alright, then we probably land. We have to go into the, the leader. We'll tag out this guy. That is when he knew he fucked up. I can't tag up this guy, I guess. So here's the question. If I can get this guy into base, it, not base to base, but within one inch, mm -hmm. I can't tag him because I have to go base to base. All right. So that's my own question. So we'll go there. We'll go oh, there. because you, with your movement, you could possibly end in base to base. Yes. Well, this unit's dead anyway, because you're about to put two stands in them. Because <laughs> I didn't kill this guy. Uh, yeah, so maybe we won't take him up. We'll just leave him counter on him. Yeah. Many as we can onto the uh, objective. This is cool. Yeah, this, this is nuts. real neat. All right, that is me. Yeah, I get tempting target and behind me lines. You have for 10, so I'm uh, 16. And we are on turn three. You control zero. But what are you looking to bring up? All right, so you got tempting target behind enemy lines for two. I'm just gonna put myself at seven, which has never happened before. <laughs> See if I get it. I do. You up to five. Cool. Cool. Yeah, because he's still alive. Um, <laughs> so we don't pick up them. Not sure. <clears throat> so I have enough to interrupt, just to let you know. <laughs> so this is like real dumb because like I have to leave that guy there. Why? If I draw investigate signals. Oh, then you can't bring him down. I can't bring him down. Mm. Uh, so he's just gonna stay there. Can you fall back and shoot? No. Okay. Uh, so I think we're just gonna reveal. Why don't you bring up the satans? Because <laughs> they want to walk over and. Oh, I forgot to charge. Sorry. Oh yeah, yeah, do that. I'm just gonna charge like that. And then hopefully kill him and then pile in. I mean, let, let's let's see. Maybe you won't. So hitting on twos? Okay. Yeah. Nice. Oh, look at that. Look at those And then winning on twos? T6. Strength 14. Okay. So two AP3. AP3, so sixes. T6 plus one. Yeah, D3 damage. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so I'm not going to pick anyone up. Because he's dead. Um... He's dead. I'm sorry, Dave. You seem like a great guy. I just hate your army. <laughs> but you met Dan. Uh, yeah, I think he's still you, talking to me. You're one of the three at the bottom of my list. Tau are the worst leaks of votes and are next, Ta and there comes a third. I, well, everybody hates Tau. You know what? I I don't own leaks of votes so but I do own Tau. But you own yeah, two of his sorry, three I own, armies. Six, I own 67% of the armies he hates. That's fine. Assassinate? And secure no man's land. Yeah. Alright, so assassinate, you got Drago, which you can character snipe him. He's only got a four up in one. Oh, only a four up in one. He used to have three up in one. I know he did. Uh, this uh, guy's a character? Secure no man's land. Oh, this sucks. Uh, you want to double check uh, the OC on that? See four. if it's four? Yeah, it's four. 100%? Okay. That's right. Grand Master. Grandmaster's four. Cool, cool, cool. So I need three on there. Oh, that's real dumb. I hate missions with two no man's land. Which 
deck groups. I played this against uh, the Eldar guy yep. at the tournament twice. You know Adelman, Dave Adelman? Uh, yeah. So he's like the really good Eldar player. He basically can't beat uh, Curse Cultus. And we played the same exact mission twice at two different GTs. It was yeah. fucking crazy. Oh yeah, before I move anything, uh, we're gonna call the storm. I'm gonna make sure I can do it in combat. Probably. Yeah, because it's space magic, so like, why wouldn't I be able to? Abilities. You know that the game is 1716, right? <laughs> I know it's 1760. It <laughs> it's feel, so close. Doesn't feel real good, but like that's all in reserve, so it's fine. Yeah, and the fact that we both have just armies that can go anywhere. Yeah, I'm gonna die real fast though. Like, it's turn two, good. and I'm in your deployment zone, and you're in my deployment zone, <laughs> or was in my deployment zone. I was, but like not really, not the, in the same way, <laughs> not in the same way at all. Yeah, I wish I took pictures of this game. All right, oh, you got video of it. Yeah, you got video it takes evidence. So long. Uh, alright, so you take D3 mortal wounds. Um, the assassin as well? Yeah, I'll roll for the assassin second. Uh, you take one mortal wound on the... Four. Knights. Good. Assassin takes D3. Takes one. <laughs> <laughs> Loves it. Do you know how Is many... Is it within six or twelve? It's twelve. Okay. okay. Do you know how many Inceptors I killed? I think I killed like four Inceptors the one time, because I rolled like a six on the one and uh -huh. killed two out of the Oh end. my god. I was like, that has never happened before and will never happen again. <laughs> Alright, so we got Immortal. Assassinate. Dude, I can't wait till we play each other again in the tournament. And you're not gonna leave the fucking monolith anywhere in the open. <laughs> yeah, well now now I know to respect it. <laughs> what the heck is going on? Oh god. I think we want like the nightmare first. Big guns never tire. I can shoot into combat? No. It's just out of combat. Yeah. Okay. So like literally, if he falls back, you move six inches. Yep. If you if you end <coughs> outside of nine, then I can't. Yeah. Well, he, he moves five. <laughs> he moves five. Uh, let's see what he heals. He heals two. Nice. So he's back up to four. Let's go, Immotech. Let's go. Three wounds there. Um, you have no way of popping her away if I start shooting her? No. Okay. Because that's an assassinate target. Oh, there you go. It's an easy one. Uh, no Man's Land means I have to drop Immortals and then they die. It's fun. Well, good thing my other dreads are over there. Good thing of that. Right? Yeah. It's not right. like they can come over here next time. <laughs> it's not. Not at all. <laughs> Alright. What do after their friends did their turn one of the end of their turn one? So Pat's asking, yeah. What do Necrons did their turn one at the end of their turn? At the Necrons went first. So, I didn't get my detachment ability turn one. You know who did? You did. Grey Knights did. Yeah, I think I'm bringing this to the tournament on Saturday. I think you should. I think you need to represent. I think it's uh, not everybody's going to be expecting it. Yeah, and you've been spending too long on easy mode. Yes, I agree. <laughs> when I curse cultists in easy mode. Basically, like, how many saves can I make? <laughs> Alright, one CP. One CP. Are they two wounds? One. They're only one? They're only one. Might as well. What are you gonna overwatch? Oh, them? can I not because you they can. fucking teleport? <laughs> yeah. How bullshit is that? It doesn't even make sense. <laughs> it's still dumb. It doesn't make sense. <coughs> so many people are gonna get that wrong. All right, so I need to bring in those guys. Like, what can they? What can those guys do? Well, that, that's what I don't get. So, like, if somebody deep strikes on the yeah. table, why can you not Overwatch them? Because they clarify coming in from reserves. They said when you enter the battlefield from reserves, 
what they mean by counts as making a normal move is that you can't move again. Wait, so why don't we just read it? What, what, what's because the every game we've ever played in 10th edition, you were always like fearful of Forge Fiends ever watching you or shit like that. When oh, we it literally tried. just changed. Yeah. It was just in the design commentary. All right, let's 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 see what's going on here. <laughs> Ryan's getting paid to watch battle reports. <laughs> Doing it, is, is that is that better than uh, getting paid to poop or play them? <laughs> hey, you know how many bathroom breaks I take at work. <laughs> All right. Count as having made a normal move. Let's let's see about this. Maybe the reserve thing. Uh, here we go. Reserves units always count as having made a normal move in the turn they are set up on the battlefield. This is simply to clarify that they cannot move further in this phase, but have not remained stationary. Such units have not made a normal move, however, so their arrival cannot trigger stratagems or abilities that are used after a unit makes a normal move. Similarly, a unit that embarks from a transport that made a normal move this phase also counts as having made a normal move, but not made a normal move. So a unit, so such a unit's arrival cannot trigger stratagems or abilities that are used after a unit makes a normal move. See embarked units and reserves. Nice. Counts as making a normal move, but didn't make a normal move. And well, the, the biggest thing is like make it make sense. The stratagems part. I think yeah. that's what shuts it down. Yeah, it's just the it's all the overall. I think they're trying to nerf Overwatch over this edition. So basically, I can come in anywhere and not have to worry about Overwatch anymore. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Because I think I played uh, Mike the other day. I think that's a big stealth buff to mm -hmm. Grey Knights. Like, well, to really anybody. Like, yeah. Oh, Blitz. Like, you don't have to worry about them shooting you, Forge Fiend shooting you, like, yeah. Vindicator shooting you. Now, with Abaddon's full rerolls to wound, you don't even care anymore. Yeah, and I guess, like, mists happens in their shooting phase, right? Or something like that, so they can't overwatch that either. So if I rapid ingress, yeah, just to get closer to you, you literally can't overwatch me. That's so busted. <laughs> Dude, if, if so you they, fucking, if I missed, right? Yeah. And then I pull them off, and then rapid ingress, like, nine inches away from your fucking quadruple plasma gun unit, you can't overwatch me. Nope. Well, technically, I guess you can anyway, because it's... Uh, it's shooting phase or yeah. something like that, that that happens. I still have to stay out of line of sight. Oh, man. We have to drop things on. Um, this is annoying. She's blown up, right? I keep asking that. Yeah. Womp womp. <laughs> Mm -hmm. It says they should be able to Overwatch. They're being set up on the battlefield. They're talking about things. Oh, what does Overwatch actually say? Hold on. Let's read Overwatch. I guess you have to read Set Up on the Battlefield. Well, we have to read Overwatch. Ryan coming in clutch. Let's see. Overwatch. Fire Overwatch. Yeah, because and it's not because they made a move. It's because Overwatch says movement or charge phase just after an enemy unit is set up, or when an enemy unit starts or ends a normal move, advance, fall back, or charge. Starts or end or normal move. So you can overwatch them if you want, because it says if they're set up. Uh, so set up is a different like keyword thing. Yeah. So that's why. So yeah, well. And then you still have to be fearful of fucking Forge Fiends and yep. everything. <laughs> 2 D6. 8. 2, 4, 6, 8. Otherwise, yeah, rapid progress was sounding uh, pretty nasty. Just 3. Just 3 AP. If you want to go. If you want, fours, kill two. <clears throat> All right, two, three, four, five. 
six. Six hours. One. 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 AP two to cover. One AP two. Five. Made that one. Up. Oh, now you like my dice. <laughs> now I like them. Yeah. <laughs> Dollar each. All right, so I'm not going to spend the CP here because I'm just going to spend it elsewhere. So that's fine. So I have a different way of taking this point. Can you shoot and then move onto it? Yep. So I just place them outside of nine, yep. shoot, move nine inches yep. onto it, Makes get sense. go see something on there, it's like six. Um, and then these guys have to come in. But they wouldn't be able to miss. They wouldn't be able to miss. Oh yeah, because miss is normal move. Yes. So that's going to be the strategic reserve for that guy. We need to kill this Calidus. <laughs> you do. She's pissed me off. Why is she on the other side of the room? Why are you good at this game? <laughs> Accidental placement. <laughs> Accidental. <laughs> Better be lucky than good, right? <laughs> Why is she on this side of the building? <laughs> oh man, I'm just gonna lose this. See, the Tesla don't do much in the video in this matchup. Kill Colts is pretty good. Oh, I do like Tesla for that. And Sir Hector. Who's that? The guy that pops out of the Canis Rex. Mow him down. I literally did 40 wounds. I know. I have 20 shots. <laughs> make it make sense. <laughs> well, full rerolls. <laughs> full rerolls, sustained two. That's insane. It, wor it worked out somehow. That's insane. He was on a he was on an objective, so I got reroll wounds too. So it was it was bad. Nice. Uh, so they spent the one CP okay. to do the three inch, okay. so that they could shoot the Calidus. Thank you. So we're gonna uh, shoot the Calidus. I'm gonna take her off if, if you're if you're interested in Caldus. Yeah, I, I think <laughs> Caldus is now dead. Basically the same stats as uh <laughs> the dude. Can't shoot, can't shoot. These guys shoot uh into your deer there. Um that is my first death, by the way. Okay. Yeah. So first blush. <laughs> so you gotta assassinate. So now you, you have to secure this. You killed the immortal squad by charging. Okay, yeah. So I only have two left. That makes sense. Um, so we got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. <laughs> uh, this is gonna be threes. Yes, I am actually gonna see if this wins you. And then fives re-rolling everything. What's the AP? One. I'll spend CP. Okay. Three wounds to start. Nine AP one. <sighs> Just one damage. Still. Take one. Yeah. Take one. D6 shots out of the Chronomancer. Five. Doesn't he have like a crazy gear gun? Nope. <laughs> Where's the hit? C8. Rerolling because the unit rerolls, which is dumb, maybe it's the character rerolls. Um, those are 3 at AP1. One average. Yep. Because for some reason you're only T8. <laughs> Get on that point. I think secretly I'm a Grey Knight player just because. Because you love moving your shit around? Well, I just feel bad. We should trade the army. <laughs> just trade the army. <laughs> if you can play mine, I'll play yours on Saturday. We'll, oh we'll both God. clock. And <laughs> <laughs> I didn't clock any of my games. I got real close the one time. All right, so that's going to be mine. They killed that. Um, so I'll secure No Man's Land for one objective. What is that, three? Um, two. Two. Yeah, I guess it's only two. And then five. Two and five, so seven. All right, I control one, two, so it's five, six, seven. 
Oh, oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. All right, let's, let's see charges here. Wait, what did I have? It was 17-16, right? Yeah, let's catch yeah. this up here. All right, let's go back. <laughs> let's charge. <laughs> All right, so we're 7-7, seven, seven, and I spent um, 1 CP for the deep strike, 2 for like a reroll or something like that. You're at four then, yeah. Yeah, so I'm at four, and you're at five. I don't know what you spent two on. It was Overwatch and something else. And Armington. Okay. Uh, I I'm got... about to spend five here. What's the AP on the the dudes? Over there? Yeah. Uh, the Void Dragon or the... Uh, Both. AP three on the Void Dragon, and then his... Uh, his other attacks are AP one, uh, his six additional attacks, and then... Uh, I'll probably do the smash. Might as well. To kill Tommy. Um, because you're T5. T5. Yeah, so it's only strength 8 on the sweep. So it'd be 3s. Yeah, it's only 2 damage, right? It's only 2 damage, yeah. so you need 2 to go through. Yeah. So that doesn't work out. Uh, so he's AP4. Okay. So Nightbringer first. Nightbringer first. Charge. Get some. It's a 7. seven. And then what's the Nightbringer going to need? Make way. <laughs> so let's just measure the back of the base to clear it. So to, uh, to clear it, it's about a four and a half. And then we'll. So you probably need like a six, maybe it's five. Be like a five or six because yeah. he's got a three inch. Base. Yeah, I think, I think if you roll a three or a four level, we'll measure it. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Yeah, you got it. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a nine. Always measure before you move. Otherwise, you cheat people. All right, let's just start with the Nightbringer. All right. Two, four, six attacks. Um, what does Drago give them? Sustained hits or something like that? Uh, no, he just gives them nothing. Oh, at this point, nothing. Four mortal wound saves. Okay. Eh, I mean, they do mortal wounds. Uh, but it's not worth the CP or anything. So I'm just going to do six normal swings, hitting on twos, no minuses, right? Uh, no minuses. One miss. Strength 14. Deuces. Ah, or 12 or something like that. Still going to be twos. So that's four AP4. Two die. Yep. D6 plus two. <laughs> so we'll kill this guy and this guy. Do you want to interrupt? Fuck yeah. Is that even a question? So you're down to three. Trigger's going in. Going in. Going in. Going in. I'm gonna spend two CP as well. <laughs> so going out of one. <laughs> we got dev wounds, baby. Dev wounds. Dev wounds on oh. sixes. Man. So we're doing as what many. Sort of, as what we... sort of rerolls do you got None. here? Fucking whatsoever. Oh my god, you're just, you're just <laughs> gambling. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on the dude, and then one on to uh, this guy. One, two, three. Wait, one, two, I have to do this better. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven onto this guy. Yep. Drago onto that guy. One onto him. Uh, Immotech? Immotech, okay. One on Immotech! He's gonna live. Yeah, he is. Oh, yeah. So maybe two. yeah. Maybe two. Fours. Yeah, two, two damage. damage. He goes to the two. All right, let's do the big guy. So we got two, four, six hitting on twos. One miss, and then down eight, two. so fives. Yeah, T11. All right, so give me two AP4 and and three mortals. All right, so two AP4, so this is gonna be four up invulns, make those. Three mortals, five up, feel no pain, uh, feel two of them. So okay. he goes to uh, 10. Here we got one, two, three, four. Void dragon, right? Five, uh, yeah. Six. So, do we have seven? We have 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's seven left. He's hitting on threes. Mm -hmm. Alright, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight miss. And then sixes, baby! T12, right? Uh, T11. Not bad. Five dev. And two fives. <laughs> so we've been. <laughs> two fives and five dead. So two four ups. Two four ups. Uh, two each. These are two each. And all the, those are two each as well. So this is four. And then ten more. All right, ten. so we did 14 dev. How many does he get? Two, three, four, <gasps> six, eight, nine. Oh, he lives <laughs> on one! <laughs> oh my god! We almost killed a fucking vo uh, void dragon without charging. It's all right. He's alive. He is. I rolled two fives. So we're gonna do strikes on this guy. Uh, twos to hit. T uh, strength ten, so twos to wounds. So that's five AP threes. What's he for? <laughs> He's angry. Nice. <laughs> Hold on. Is it D6 plus 2 at damage? I think it is. Shouldn't know my own rules. He has D6 plus 2, so it's a dead die each. <laughs> it's alright. Oh, it's alright, we lived. It's alright, we lived, and Emotech is not attacking. Oh. I'll take that. Six more attacks. <laughs> two damage? One. One damage. Twos. Strength six. So Do you threes. heal my command phase as well? No, no. Uh, wow, I just he does not like you. Uh, six, AP one. <laughs> one turn, one damage. <laughs> what did he kill? Five? Yeah. Nightbringer uh, killed two. two. Yeah. And then the void dragon just decided <laughs> to kill five. Do you heal as well? No, it's okay. just vehicles. Right. And it, that's in the shooting phase that happens. I don't think I might have grenades, which would be hilarious. Oh, I hate that strat. Because then I can fall back and throw a grenade at you. Nah. Uh, Terminators have grenades! Alright, end of the fight phase? End of uh, the fight phase? Sure. Alright, on a 4 up, you take mortal wounds. You take D3, Nightbringer. You take two mortal wounds. Of course. Yeah. Alright. Ah, <laughs> like, end of the fight phase? Alright, so I think I gave you your points. So you're at 24. Um, can anyone have, like, was anyone able to move? No. No, because he the Nightbringer fall first. Yeah. Uh, that's so one. Yeah, I kept them in there, and then I. Just, then you kill fucking six of them. <laughs> how, many, how many points does that? <laughs> uh, I don't know. They're, they're four twenty for ten. So forty two each. So forty two times six. Forty two times six. Two four. Oh, six. There's seven. Two hundred and fifty two. There's seven dead. So. 252, do you want to know how much the Void Dragon costs? No. Alright, I will not tell you. 265. <laughs> so he made his points back. He made his points back. And I don't have Drago's card for some fucking reason. If Moira was able to shoot first. Oh, I do have Drago's card. Alright, Drago's leadership. Why is he leadership six? The best of the best <laughs> ever. Not, like, not. in comparison to a custodian. Right? In the warp, killing every fucking demon he comes across, right? Yep. Hopped up on warp dust is leadership six. The same as a regular yeah, ultramarine like, space marine. Listen. How? How, how does that make sense? Abaddon, leadership five. Yes. And he, and he loses all the time. He would die to fucking Drago. <laughs> Drago would fucking yo, yell tangerines, charge at him, and just fucking nuke him. Oh, this is bad. Um, All right, so I get nothing here. I get five. I have to pass a six, but that's six points back there. That is six So points. I'm going to spend one TP. All right. To auto pass. So you're back down to one. Yep. You go up to Hold one. Hold on. You go five. Yep. I go to one. Yep. And then I'm going to roll up the TP. And what happens you, in your turn? You get another one. 
Why do I? Oh, go? I'm thinking it's your turn. Yeah, it's only. Yeah, my bad. No, I punched you. That was. My bad. This CP. I know you almost killed my void dragon. This CP is going to be the best CP I'm ever going to spend. All right. So before you reveal your cards, I'm going to make this terminator first. Who are you picking up? Well, I can't pick them up. Uh, I don't want to pick this guy. I need these two to be bought. Why do grenades? We're gonna pick up both. We're gonna pick up one of those guys. Strikes are gonna make that sticky. Why do grenades not need to be eligible to shoot? It's a great question. That is a very good question. So we're gonna pick up. <laughs> so I think I just want to buff these two to advance fourteen and shoot them. I'm gonna keep them there. Uh, I don't think I need to buff them at all. So actually, I'm going to pick up one of those guys over there. And the tech priest. Yeah, I'm a, I'm ahead for uh, I'm ahead for now, John. Like this, this is this. At my primary. Yeah. Six, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So twenty nine. <sighs> I don't like. And that. just like that. <laughs> okay. So these guys again are staying down. He's so, staying down. Boop. boop. We're going to pick up the Tech Priest and those two Dreads. Tech Priest, two Dreads, and then cards. Yes. So let's pick up the cards. We got Extend. Oh, right, because we already knew that was coming up. Draw I assassin. forgot. So we Draw Assassin and kill Void Dragon. What did I ever do to you? <laughs> <laughs> well, you have Imitech on what? Two. <laughs> uh, so overwhelming force is kill people on objectives, so that's these guys. Yep. So if he is a part of that unit and I kill the unit, that's two. You know what would have been funny is what? if uh, I hadn't held any objectives and you just can't score them. Yeah. <laughs> um, question. Yeah. If I shoot them, yep. you can't teleport because there's no monolith. There's no monolith. Okay, good. So that makes my job easy. So they're gonna give buff to these two. Yep. This guy doesn't have a buff. We're gonna give they're off the table. So we're gonna make that sticky over there. You chose to fight Necrons. Listen, I had to endure the <laughs> ninth edition. Oh god. Sticky. Like sticky. That was so many years these two of my life with this terrible army. Uh I guess they're just gonna come back down. Oh, I can shoot him because he's on the objective, right? I feel hated here. I feel like I'm the bad guy for some reason. <laughs> All right, so he's gonna scooch up eight to here. He's gonna land outside nine. How many dread knights does it take to kill some immortals? To there, he's gonna land outside nine. Well, I want to shoot the boy dragon, which he would be able to. That way I can just fucking mortal or um, grenade emo mm -hmm. tech. Uh, and then so shoot the boy dragon, shoot here, those two could shoot here, he'll fucking hop up. I guess to here. The tech priest is going to come down over here. Uh, overwhelming force, extend battle lines, extend my control there. So these guys are gonna hop up 14. So back of his base is 3, and then he goes 11. I have hit it you since 2nd. Well, I have <laughs> only been playing since 8th, so that's fine. <laughs> that's fine, I'll take that. Uh, he's going. Back of his base, back of his base is 12, 13, 14. That is true. Uh, you don't pay. I don't pay you on Patreon. Yeah, so I can play whatever army I want. Exactly. You're beholden to them. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get do what the people want. <laughs> Alright, look at this fucking setup. Yeah, we I got Dread Knight, Tech Priest, Dread Knight, Tech Priest, Dread Knight, <laughs> Dread Knight. You have no idea how much I wish I brought my obeisance phalanx list. I'd be killing dread knights. I'd be killing dread knights for days. 
Let's hop in out over there. Mm -hmm. Look at all the CP I can't use. <laughs> Oh, you know what I can use my 5 CP on? What's that? 2 CP command reroll. There you go. Because <laughs> you know who did that? Uh, Count uh, assassin that killed your bitch. The one, the one thing I killed. Maybe we just kill this bitch. 18 inches. Leave it there. Alright, I think that's the thing that's fine. Okay, so we're gonna shoot. Uh, we're gonna put first off. We, uh, do you want to stay in combat there, or do you no, want to fall sorry. back? He's, he's gonna fall back. Uh, do I do I try to Overwatch you? Might as well. I'm you have going what to. five CP? So I'll, I'll get a four. I'll Overwatch on that squad. They weren't set up this turn though. Uh, so four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty. Okay, look at that. Uh, it's six AP inches. one. It's AP zero. But I can't even spend a strat, right? Because it's not your shooting phase. Yeah. Yeah. Still AP zero, though. You want that phase? Yeah, I did. That was weird how it got stuck there. I reroll ones. Two, three ones. Alright, so I got six more shots. So nine hits. John is finishing up his world eaters just as they got nerfed to the ground. <laughs> That's fine. No one likes world eaters either, John. No one likes them either. You're on the points, so I'm rerolling all wounds. Uh, T5, strength 5. Three, seven. Haha, <laughs> take two. <laughs> Glassman, sir! Alright, we're gonna start with this guy. Oh, I'm still shooting. Damn it. Rerolling ones. Uh, nothing. <laughs> That's never watch. Uh, he's gonna put Flamer into these guys and uh, big gun into them. I almost killed another uh, two, four. <laughs> he did. I can't believe that. Uh, he hits on threes. This so guy? He, yeah, miss. And then fives. Uh, four. Sure. <sighs> four minus two, no cover. <laughs> it's gonna be bad melee, but it's gonna be melee. Yeah, it's just cool ass models. Yeah. They're gonna be like, hopefully. For everyone that doesn't know what we're laughing about, there's some meme, I guess we'll have to repost it, mm -hmm. uh, about uh, Tau in a few months when they get an entire Kroot army. Yeah, it's gonna be so cool. Is the Kroot, big ass Kroot Tots, like still playable? Uh, I think that's Legends, yeah. but uh, they leaked or showed the silhouette of like a Kroot Tots rider or something like mm -hmm. that. It was like a, like a Kroot rider dude. Pretty neat. Definitely not buying it. I've spent enough money on that bronze. But crew are so cool. Uh, give me four saves, sir. AP two no cover. <laughs> AP two no cover? Yeah. Enough with this no cover. Uh, three each. Who was this going into? <laughs> the fucking sedan. <laughs> oh, this guy? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so... Uh... Six, five ups. <laughs> You got this. Yeah, I just need to uh, do six five ups. Uh, three go through. He dies. Right. As he explode. Oh. Dude, if he took out more of Terminators. <laughs> oh, that would be so great. That would be awesome. He explodes for D6. I know, it's awesome. Okay, so he's done. We're going to throw a grenade at fucking Emotech. Two, four, six. Emotech, give me four... <laughs> what 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 field no pants? Does he blow up? Uh no. He should call down lightning as he dies. <laughs> that would be pretty <clears throat> neat. Uh that guy, uh, we're gonna do flamers, 2d6, eight, two, four, six, eight. Winning on threes. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, AP1, no cover. Five AP1. 
feel like this whole game is just me making you roll saves. <laughs> Who's in I'm so sorry. <laughs> Who's the <this? laughs> The fucking dudes in the back. Maybe <laughs> once or force. Yeah, Dan, come, come over and play a game. Well, it'll be fun. It'll be I'll fun. feed you, give you some beers. Yeah. Oh, by the way, roll these saves. Yeah, use my dice to do it too. <laughs> uh, six, threes. No, but seriously, don't blame your dice. Just, uh... Four AP2, no cover. Don't underestimate Red Knights. Yes. Yeah. AP2, four. Dude, just imagine this right now. It would be four AP1 with cover. Yeah, so like two ups. Yeah. Well, three ups, but yeah. You'd only fail one right there. Like, it's yeah. just, it's so bad. I know. So bad. I've, pl I've played you before, it was so bad. I felt bad for you. <laughs> you were like taking shit back that you didn't need to do. You're like, you know what? I'm not going to kill that unit. You're fine. Just, just keep them there. Just keep them there. They're, All right. They're not going to do anything. They're <laughs> not harming anyone. This bad guy into them. Two, four, six. Hitting on twos. Uh, two misses. And then twos. Give me four AP2, no cover. So eights. Or eights. What about fives? Three. <laughs> These guys. We're over to these guys. Oh, over there? Yeah, we're on this side now. Uh, this guy uh, with an 18. Actually, take this guy over because then I think he's outside of 18. Is he like just barely on? Uh, 18. Yep, just kidding. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> give, give me hope. <laughs> twos. Come in here and give me Two hope. misses and then twos. Oh, wow, two more misses. Two. Maybe two no cover. So fives. Miss. Hey. And then two D6. Three. Yep. Uh, two AP one to cover. Fours. Made those. And then we got the next oh, guy, two D six. Oh, well, three again. My dice are shit in the bed. Two AP one to cover. Uh, two AP one, no cover, so one more dice. Sorry, I killed a monolith. Um, and a Satana, which was unheard of pre this game. <laughs> like, that should never die. So I'm like... And you agree, right? Like, I'm that like would low, never fucking die. I am low-key afraid for Catan right now against certain armies that can ignore modifiers. Yes. And, and that's probably why they didn't go up in points. Four AP, two no cover. So five. Do, do, yeah, do three at a time. That's fine. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, two dead. Last guy. He already shot. Um, that's all my shooting. Let's go to charges. We're going to charge those guys. We got it. Uh, and then he can't charge anybody. He can't charge anybody. Cool. So we got five attacks. Yep. Hitting on threes. Uh, three hits. Two yep. Actually, I don't have CP, but three AP three. Three AP three. So the first guy. Uh, this guy, so six. And then fours. Nice. And we roll. Ow. Oh. <laughs> Leave him alone. Alright, uh, Necrons don't have auto-explode strat. You Not think anymore. That they do. Not anymore. You that was my favorite that they strat do. last edition. I remember, you played Death Guard, you like ran uh, the, uh, the tank. The Ghost Arc. Yeah. It was a transport. In the middle of everything, and you were like, please kill it. I was like hitting you with like little knives. No, right. you chose to use your close combat weapons. Yeah, so not you, even the heavy weapons. So you couldn't kill them. Uh, overwhelming force was one. only one, so I got three. Yep. Ematech wasn't on it. So extend battle lines, I got five. So five and three yep. is eight. So we're up to... I keep hitting the wrong thing. Uh, eight and 29 is 37. Uh, your attack's back with this fucker. Oh no. <laughs> what does he, what does he have? have? What does this guy have? Chronomancer. Melee weapons. Three attacks. Seems like a few too many. Uh, I rolled three ones. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, that, no. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> what are you picking up? <laughs> All right. Um, well, we're probably gonna have to pick up. We're gonna pick up the um, Nightbringer. <laughs> the immortal unit back there. Gonna Wait, pick... you can heal off the board, right? Because you're five. I'm gonna, I'm gonna end. <laughs> you're gonna end up spending it. 
You still didn't get to investigate, right? I still have So he has to stay there. <laughs> he has to stay there. Yeah, they both have to stay there. So this is going to be, like, interesting. <laughs> well, technically, you can... I know you can. All right, so turn four. Boop, boop. Uh, Want to roll two up, see if you get the CP? No, because you don't... Your guy's dead. Oh, yeah. So one and one. So I go up to six. And you go up to two? No, I had you at five. I had one. Okay. Yeah, because I just gave you two. What one CP on? I don't know. Overwatch. Yeah. There. Uh, no vital ground because I'm bad at the game. Uh, we're going to pick up the Immortal Squad. We're going to spend a CP go down four uh, to reanimate. See what they do. Oh, we're going to get yeah. the three guys back. Three guys come back. Is there even three guys dead? <laughs> Two, four, six, seven, yeah. Look at that, full strength. One, two. And my lonely assassin is dead over here. I might kill the Inquisitor, but I can't get that again. Where is, where, do you see a Tesla? There it is. It's, like it's a different gun, right? It's a completely different gun. It looks completely different. Let me these terminated so you know that you killed more than the assassin. <laughs> yeah. You killed six terminators, technically. Yeah, they're gonna sue you for libel and slander over there <laughs> saying I only killed a uh, what fifty point character. Yeah. How much is she? Uh ninety. Okay, whatever. She was one ten, I think, and then they lowered her they, they kept uh, twenty points. They kept thinking they were really good, huh? Well, because she can only do battle tactics now. That was the big thing. Area denial. That's easy. Capture enemy outpost. Oh, get eight, baby. All right, so... I only have a tech priest on me. Do I only have one unit in deep strike? I really wish I had two. Why? Because I can't do area denial and capture. Oh, I think you would have picked that guy up anyway. Or either or, because then you just drop him back in the same spot. Like you could probably pick up all three. If you pick up that guy. I think that guy stays to save the CP. Well, actually, let's measure it. Let's see. Yeah, because nine inches would get you back here. Okay. So you can pick up all three. Just in case. Yeah. Because you would measure before you pick them up. Then I preserve my strength. So I basically... Um, oh, wow. Hmm. I can't do this. What? Strategic reserves. They they can't come back down deep strike. No, that's what the one CP is for. Mm -hmm. So that's one or the other. Wait, what's the oh come down within three or deep strike? No, it's just come down within three. So it's not the deep strike. It's anywhere. It's any unit in hyperphase can just come come down outside of three. What's the opposite on that thing? Two. Well, you stole my outfit. Yeah, but... And then deep strike the center. <laughs> I would need to spend the CP to come within three. You got a guy on it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Come down here. Yeah. And then deep strike in the center with the Tesla. They don't have deep strike. It's so weird. That crowd's so weird. Well, make it work. <laughs> uh, so, like, I go for the eight point. Obviously. That, that's obvious. Um, and then we probably keep capture... Or we keep area denial, force you to put something there. And then I can just spend a CP to cycle it out. You have enough. Um, Nightbringer doesn't move. <laughs> doesn't move. We, we've, learned that, we've learned that lesson. <laughs> you know that. <laughs> yeah. We know that. Uh, at least you don't have the sigil on that unit, too, because that would be terrible. Mm -hmm. No, it's like I'm just standing right there. That'd be awful so one cp actually did i already spend it yeah no no i healed and then one more goes down to three um so then we take this unit and we uh so they don't have deep strike yeah so how the fuck do you where do you put them uh you just right, walk just, them on you walk them on there's a few missions where it's within six and you don't have to spend the cp yeah um when you have the monolith you just leave them in reserves and you poop them out of the monolith that's what it is. Yeah, because I didn't go after the monolith last time. Yeah, so I, the, think, I feel like the monolith is huge for this list. Uh, yeah, you don't want to lose it. Uh, <laughs> turn one. <laughs> you definitely don't want to lose it. Turn one. <laughs> that's that's a no no. 
That is, uh, we're gonna be outside of one inch of this wall. I imagine you're OC1 on this, dude. Yeah. Look at me trying to protect them. They're just gonna die. <laughs> um, that guy's in combat. Oh my god. So normally, Did you have second beer yet? No. <laughs> normally, uh, normally when you have a lot of assets left, you're thinking about denying primary right now. Five projects is uh, <laughs> low key good. Well, I'm, I haven't faced Tal yet. I haven't faced really anything that has a lot of guns on the other side. Uh, Cichlids are strength seven. Yeah, they go to strength eight, I think, when you overcharge. Cichlids. What are cichlids? The guns that Tal takes on the crisis. Uh, I don't know. Here you go, sir. He's gonna fall back. Pretend like how many he wounds is he at? Overwatch. Pretend like he's gonna get away. Two, four, six. Uh, uh, uh. Hit three times. Uh oh. Wound three times. Maybe two to her. Force. Oh, -ho! let's go. He's got two up save. No, he's got a four up end ball. Oh, fuck. Even better. <laughs> Even better. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Like, you're gonna make it go into my other dice. Two, four, six. Six AP, one of her. Six AP, one. Three, six. He's fine. <laughs> He's alive. He loves one, it. He's off one wound. He loves it. I don't know how you hit him that many times. I hit him though. three fucking heavy side cannons and you made up force. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right, let's, uh, let's, we're just going to blast your tech priest. Four, eight, twelve, <laughs> sixteen. I don't have a CP. 20? <laughs> About 21 right here. They're like plasma, so they go up to strength 8. It's AP 0, so... No, no, I'm saying the towel. So, I think you can definitely kill... Like, that's the thing. Tau, I think, can definitely trade really easily with the Dread Knights. For... Yeah, but when they overcharge, they kill one and a half guys on average. So... On the full squad. But... The, the tanks that fucking Brian runs? Yeah. Like, one hammerhand can kill a knight. Was it, d6 plus 6? If he rolls a 6 to wound, too, it's devastating. Yeah, so... And then he just, like, nukes you. Dead. It's hilarious. 4, 8, 12, 16. Yeah, I think Tal beats this list pretty easily. What's the toughness on his tanks? 10? Um, it's low. I, it might nine. be 9. It's not very high. The hammer has a nine as well, or they ten. I'm not sure. Uh, two more, so that's the four back. Um, I don't think he outshoots them. No, he also doesn't want to like just go into you early because mm -hmm. he doesn't get the. Uh... Although the problem is like the. Crisis gets Kalyon on turn turn two. <laughs> nice. Because of the enhancement. And it comes down turn two and just nuke something. Uh, T4 on that guy? Uh, yep. Nineteen saves. <laughs> One, two, three. Hey! Kill something else. <laughs> I was wondering if you were going to take uh, Assassinate and bring it down against me. Um, this army is better at tactical. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, kill secondaries, maybe, but it's like not a really kill the army. Yeah. You're just trying to s steal primary. Mm -hmm. So you really want to get secondaries and primaries at the same time. Uh, Nightbringer into uh, Terminators, number of shots, three. Uh, 
Hits on twos. Wounds on twos. One save, AP two. Okay. Okay. Charges. Oh, look at that. He makes it in. Camera charge. Let's see if you can kill that guy in one turn. Maybe. No, no, not another three dudes. So three, six attacks. We're gonna do strikes. That unit's over five hundred points. That's a lot for a unit. Yeah. Oh my god! Look at all these ones. Love it. Two's the wound. Uh, three AB four. Three four. Two. Down. Yep. Still there. Still there. Yeah. So we've killed the guy's wounded, oh. and then this guy. We'll leave the banner and the apothecary. So that way, I still have six, seven, eight obsec on there. Mm -hmm. and I'll be able to make one of the command phase. Uh, we got Dinago, six sex. I have no CP, so I literally spent six CP in a turn. Hitting <laughs> on twos. Pretty on, good. Hitting on fives. Pretty good. Give me one save. One save. Four on. Uh, three goes down to two. <clears throat> Takes two. Yep, goes to ten. And then we got two guys left. Threes. And fives. One, AP two. Everything on. One, AP two. Two damage. Goes down to one. Doesn't feel it. All right, that's going to be fun to just sit there for the rest of the fucking game. All right, end of combat. You don't take it. All right. Uh, what's the obstacle on the Nightmare? He is a four. Right. So, so I got nothing for primary. Oh. Uh, and I got eight. Yeah, you captured. Oh, for secondary, sorry. Yeah, secondary. I got One, eight. two, three, four, five, six. So seven, that brings eight. me up to 42? Yeah. Because I, I didn't put 10 in for... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So 32-37? Yep. All right, so my turn. Uh, I'll lose this. We're going to bring up... Um, so... That'd be hilarious. The strikes. Yep. Uh, what else do I need? I need to really shoot the Nightbringer. So bring up... Actually, we'll just honestly bring up that one. Yep. This one. Mm -hmm. And this one. So all three dreads. All right. So this one will stay down. That one will stay down. Get sixteen primary. Well, hold on. I have to make a leadership on that on those guys. Okay. Yeah. You already spent that. They pass on six. <laughs> so they'll so get it. Close. I know. And then I'll make a dude. How come? The, why doesn't the Nightbringer have a fear or? I know. I know. Uh, so I get six. 11. Heck, I'm looking for it, too. <laughs> Shit. What did I get for primary? <laughs> 16. 5, 10, uh, and then and don't control 6. That. And you don't control that. So 16 plus 37, 50, is, uh, 53. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Problems to have. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Alright, so we get 1 CP. Yep. You go up to 4. We're going to bring plus 1 to hit over there. And... That's it. So he's going to try and fit back there if I can. Which I cannot. No, I can. So I'll go there. Um, I don't think I can get anybody else with a nine and see this guy. Maybe here. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. He's gonna live. He's gonna live. That's outside nine. Don't think you can see me. I don't you love how small he is. I yeah, know. I'll just come down with him three. All right. One CP for that? Yep. No. But he is in the room, so if you can yeah, see yeah. around the wall. I can't see him. Oh, this way. Oh, yeah, yeah, just uh, see right in there. <laughs> right so, there. Give you your CP back. Yeah, so we go there, and then I think I picked up that guy as well. Can you hear that dude? 
This one? Yeah. I'm having flashbacks of... Ninth edition? Was it ninth? Yeah, you, you came back in ninth, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's what uh, Mike said. Is like, this literally felt like a fucking ninth edition Grey Knight list. I was like, it felt like that playing. Because literally it's just all rolling side cannons. Yep. Alright, and he's just going to scooch up. That's weird. That's going to be weird. I don't know what the meta is going to be like at all. Because now you have... Uh, a resurgent custodies, possibly. Oh, I can't wait to play them. Um, and it's not like you can just take dev wounds now and know that no one has an answer to it. Yeah. Because they have a four of feeling no pain into it. Yeah. Yeah, like that That was a huge change. I'm so glad they did. You have a uh, recycling or just your deck? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, what do we get? I moved all my guys before we knew what we got. Sweet. <laughs> well, you're, you're already in position. So clairvoyant. We'll cleanse back here. We'll cleanse over there. Yeah, Ryan. The the monolith died uh, in a hail of silencer fire, and uh, Psy incinerators. Psy whatever. Psy something. Buy something. All right, so we're gonna chuck another grenade. That seems like the fun thing to do <laughs> against your toughness eleven, dude. <laughs> Two, four, six. Yep. Give me five. Five. <laughs> Three, five. Three fours. Five up, right? You're uh, no, no, pain. Oh, it just goes right. Mortals. Through. Okay. Grenade. Uh, five. I take four. So I take four. Yeah. Oh, math. Math. <laughs> yeah, fucking grenade shot. I love that my termies are like the only ones in the whole game to have grenades. Uh, I feel like I exclusively play armies that don't get access to cool stress. You know what sucks? The I, This is probably a missing keyword. You know the cultists, right? Yeah. Chaos. Like the models. Yeah. They literally have grenades that they're like chucking. Yeah. They have them all over the belts. Yeah. No grenade keyword. Death Guard uh, cultists, no grenades. Intended. And it's the same fucking picture <laughs> as the Chaos cultists on their stat card. Same picture. Yeah, I think it might even have a guy throwing a grenade in the picture. Intended. Oh, God, it's so annoying. All right, we're going to go that guy into the Absolutely brain. intended. Oh, he's a bring it down target. Yeah. Oh, God. I mean, you're already doing what you want to do with these secondaries. Hitting on threes, moving on fives. Two. Two. Two to two. Fours. Three damage. Goes down to two. Uh, Goes down to one. And then the Flama. Uh, nine. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Uh, strength six, fives. Oh, my God. Dollar each, guys. Dollar each. What do I want to know? You rolled uh, eight out of nine, five ups. All right, well, guys, this, this is unfair. Dollar each. Unfair. One damage. Look at all these fives. All right, takes three. All right, next, Dread Knight. <laughs> you know, Katana don't feel that strong when you don't make. <laughs> Saves. That's that, that, that is true. Uh, this one missed. You hear about people making 24 ups. Two. Just can't do it. Two. Three two. Fours. Fail them both. Damage. Three each. Or down to two each. The side cannon buff is insane. Oh wow, he died just to all that. Seriously? Yep. Alright, so you started at how many wounds? Um, was it 10? Yeah, it was 10. All right. How many do you start with, Left 12? 12. Yeah. So you have 12. All right. So honestly, I think a grenade and two Dread Knights might be able to kill you. The, the problem is... Or three Dread Knights. The problem with Catan is that you have to, like, plan for someone actually making their saves and their field and pains. Mm -hmm. And if they do that, you just have to, like, wildly overcommit. So he's 12 wounds, so I think that's four it's points. Three, four. Yeah. So four for that. 
and then cleanse for five. Over here, we'll charge for shoot. Ryan, yeah. Ryan said he needs a new color of dice. I got orange and green that are rolling like amazing right now. So three, uh, if you want to cover. Who's this going into? Those guys? Fours, yep, so one. And then two, four, six. We got heading on twos, winning on twos. Give me three AP two no cover. Two. And then charge. So, so yoosh. Okay, so why did we do that? Why did you charge in? Like like that. Like that. I mean, other than you're on the objective? Yep. But why did we charge like that specifically? I have no idea. Because when you consolidate, you have to go base to base if you can. Yeah. So you, he would have to go over here, he would have to go right there, and then he would have to go somewhere over there, which wouldn't get you on the objective. Oh, you're trying to pull me off the objective. So you still, you still have four on the objective. Yep. They're off like what? Two. Yeah. And then he's off like one, he's off like four, so I have five. So if I kill enough, you'd have to pull from there or there, which... Back to the character. Well, you don't have to, as long as you're in coherency. So I think you have one, two that you can pull first, and then yeah. those guys. I think I can pull out of coherency. <coughs> I wonder if you can kill the character. One, two, three, four, five. No. Character has to die last. Yeah, but for uh, coherency, though, does it have to die last? Oh, I don't know. Maybe not. You might just be able to kill it. I missed twice, though. And then we'll do, all right, so two AP, three. Six is two die. So, yeah, just take you guys two. off, and you still, you still have that point. And that's those guys, he does that, they rotate around. Mm -hmm. Stay on the objective. I mean, you still have it, right? Yeah, six. he has to stay. There, there's eight there, otherwise it would be six. All right, uh, text break. All right, so two, four, six, eight, ten, threes. T8. <laughs> Strength four, sixes. <laughs> Nothing. Yeah, leader. Leader, threes. Or uh, fours to hit. Oh, re rolling ones. Strength seven. Nothing. So, I don't control that anymore. You know what I keep forgetting about the plasma answer is that he does mortal wounds in the shooting phase. Nice. Uh, that's me. Oh, okay. So, he's just gonna shoot this guy. Yeah. I don't think he's surviving that. And that's it. So, I get... What did I get? Four for cleanse, four for... Uh, you're going to get five for cleanse. Because you did it in two places, right? Yeah. And uh, bring it down is four. So bring it down four. That should leave you at 62. And then you control that one for six. Uh, yeah, I'll spend the CP2 to just let it pass. I don't think you need to. Two, four, you have six guys left. Okay, yeah, so I don't even need to make a battle shock. Oh, yeah. And you're going to heal anyway. You oh. heal before you do the battle shock, right? Nope. Really? Yeah, they uh, FAQ'd that, that you take a battle shock first, uh, if you have to, and then you heal. So I still have area denial. Because I didn't get rid of that. Uh, turn five, vital grounds. Wow, I have two primary. Two. Two. Seriously? <laughs> the whole game you have two primary? On. <laughs> two. I, I'm going up to eight now. Holy fuck. So hold on, you got 30 some points on secondaries already. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's <laughs> real good at, oh, no prisoners. That's a great secondary to pick this turn. Uh, I'm gonna spin a CP, get rid of that. <laughs> I'm not killing anything this turn. Storm Hostile, oh my God. Um, Come down, steal that. What's this there, see? One. One? <laughs> oh, but then I can't get area denial. It's so dumb. Oh, this is the worst thing ever. Um, area denial. 
the end of your turn, if one of yeah, excluding you, blah, 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 are wholly within six of the center. So I can't even string it out. Rye, what color of dice do you want to see? Because <laughs> I love these these colors. Like the orange and green are probably my favorite. All right, let's let's think about this for a second. I don't have shoot and scoot anymore because that unit's stuck in combat. Yeah, the most points is really five in the center. It's five in the center, or five for or walk on and just make a nine charge. Well, we're gonna try that. That's gonna be your best bet. And then yep. deep strike there. You I mean you have enough CP to roll it <laughs> twice? Twice. Shoot, shoot that guy. Right, so within 12, yeah. So shoot him, charge this fucker. All right, so let's, let's see what we got here. So and then you only have to be wholly within six. So you, you can, he's not within three of that guy. So you can shoot him as well. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Let's <laughs> see what's going on here. Let's get our CP. Bring those guys back. Uh, you guys. <laughs> Love it. What are the odds you kill more than three guys? Not likely. All right, so they just fall back. Pink or purple would be cool. A Slanesh color would be really cool. And Cuddle Buddies are pink. Yeah. I don't know, are you uh? I can do Breast Cancer Awareness Month. When, when is that? What is that? Is that like March or May? Okay, like Google. When is Breast Cancer Awareness Month? <laughs> October. Wow, we got a little bit of time. Yeah, we got some time to order. All right, so <laughs> we're just going to shoot them both at the same time here. Um, hold on. <laughs> so I am measuring to see if it's exactly 18, because if this is the closest unit he rerolls, all hits. Really? Yeah. We'll just be within 10. And then are you with, are you, you're definitely, and then just be like within nine and a half. Yeah, so basically he does that. Yeah, that's fine. And then we just make sure we're not cheating here. <laughs> I can't wait for this nine inch charge. 10 points, baby. Max secondary, eight points primary. All right, so it's threes. Sixes auto wounds rerolling. Nice. Oh shit. AP. Uh, two. Nice. And uh, strength five T four right. Yep. So that I'm on the objective. Do you reroll wounds? No. Okay. Uh, because you're on the objective, I reroll hits. Of course. Damage. Two each. Nice. Dead. Second tech priest. Dead. Down. Get out of here. Down. Nine inch charge. Spend that too. Spend that too. <laughs> Got it. Oh, that's an eight. Yeah. All right, whatever. Yeah, I think that was the best bet. Yeah, I mean, it's worth a try. It's turn five. All right, and so then, even if you kill everything, so we'll pick up area it's denial. It's we'll pick up the eight, one, two, three. Storm. No. Capture enemy outpost. <laughs> Deploy <to point> them <laughs> forever. <laughs> All right, so we'll get thirteen. Or 14? No, okay, 13. Right. So we have to count your primary two. I think you're just maxing right now. Yeah. Capture and deploy, right? Plus primary. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, I'm at 100. Yeah. So area denial, I got 5. How did, How did I get 35 secondary and 8 primary? Because you're fucking Necrons. Like, you're the best secondary army in the game. I don't know. I was having a good time with Tyranids. Tyranids got a buff, right? Uh, yeah, they got some good drops. They got some good point drops. I mean, I know John, he just went, what, 3 0 at a tournament? Mm -hmm. So he was super excited about it. Yeah. But. All right. Uh, end of the game, you got 63. Yep. 63 with how much primary? Eight. <laughs> Eight primary. 
Actually, not, that, not, not a good showing. That just shows how good fucking Necrons are. Not, not, not the, a good showing. The tactical missions. Yeah, so like normally normally you're trying to deny se- uh, primary. Yeah. Because you're just good at secondary. Yep. So you're just denying primary with the 20 immortals. Yep. Well, 30 immortals, but like you're only ever using like 20 of them at a time. Yeah, if I actually didn't just straight up lose a monolith for free, that could kill a Dread Knight in shooting definitely pretty reliably. So I, that uh, changes the math quite a bit. I spent a CP to advance my Grandmaster turn one, uh, which got me enough firepower into the monolith. But also that was before Drago was charging in. Yeah, so, so Drago, you, you always had that fallback that you could have done a six inch charge. Mm-hmm. Drago has a uh, auto wounding on sixes on the charge. Mm-hmm. Um, they're all AP two two damage, so you have four yeah. saves with two and I damage. Had, I had two wounds left. Yeah, so I think even if how many, if I roll what four times ten, that's forty dice. How many of those would be sixes? Uh, so one six. Uh, so that's six, seven, seven or eight. So let's say five. Yeah. So roll five dice. Uh, AP two. Four, five, AP two. All right. So you Ooh, just make all those. I just saves. make all those saves. Where were those earlier? I know, right? Uh, and then I would have spent two CP. I saved two CP to do um, dev. Yep. So they were going to charge in on sixes to wound do dev, which I will do on sixes anyway. Yeah, so any six I, that go through do dev. So I like Cody as for this uh, matchup. Definitely. Because you go into your turn two with three CP. Yes. Rather than two. Yes. And uh, what is it? Orcs have it. Chaos has it. So what, like Gaskell has it or something like that? Or is no, it? the fucking Gretchen on their objectives. On a full uh, boss you get a, a CP. Um, Eldar has it. Eldar with, has it. Yeah, Eldar has it. Abaddon has it, and Abaddon's still good. Um, Tyranids. No one takes Swarm Lords, so it doesn't do anything in the Tyranids. I'm trying to think what else. Um, I think Botan. Botan I think Botan the the call gives it to you. And oh then, yeah, if they kill shit, you get CP. Yeah. So I could get something like that. But it's nothing reliable. Tau, um, if they take Space Pope, I think they get a CP. But they don't usually take Space Pope. Yeah, he's like one of the You might see him. Uh, what else? Uh, who else is actually like you think good? Um, Death Guard get it? <laughs> On a 7 plus. On a 7. Yeah, okay, it's, it's so, so bad now. So you're not going to get it into Death Guard, probably. He does nothing there, but, like, how many Death Guard do you actually see? Yeah, top, top really, things is Necrons, Eldar, and mm-hmm. Chaos, which are the top three armies. So it's, like, he he's 75 points. He just walks on, does an action. Yep. He's got a hammer. He could just stand <laughs> in that corner, screen yep. it out, get you investigate signals. Mm-hmm. Engage. Uh, yeah, so that's really all he's there for. Um, yeah. The other option was first to the fray, but it's 35 points. Um, yeah, weren't we seeing that like you can't rapid ingress? Turn one. Yeah, you can't rapid ingress with him. I mean, he still comes in turn one anyway. Yeah. But rapid ingress, top of one would be great. Like, if you went first, if well, I just would, rapid ingress. would definitely be great. In your deployment zone, turn one. Uh, yeah, so I think first to the fray isn't needed for this specific list because there's five fucking Dread Knights. And three of them are going to move 14 and most likely get line of sight on something. Do you do you lose a Dread Knight to a Forge Fiend? Yeah, definitely. On average, though? No. Uh, you're winning on four. Oh, I mean, again, Abby with rerolls. Exploding okay. on fives, auto-wounding yeah. on fives. The combo now is auto-wounding and exploding on fives. Abby and Helbert. But then, like... I thought everyone hated that because now you're stuck in this bubble. It's really just two models right next to each other within yeah. six inches. So let's say Abby is here, right? <clears throat> you could have the helper right next to him, and then you have the Forge Fiend within six inches. Now, do you think you kill a Forge Fiend back reliably? Because like all you two, need to do is four, get within 18 six. now. 
Hitting on twos. Winning on five, fours. So give me one, two, three, four saves. Mm -hmm. two, so fives. So <laughs> let's say two go through, that's six damage. So no, not really. Okay. I would need multiple. But again, they're only taking one now. Like you're not gonna see two lit or you're not gonna see lists with two of them. They're two hundred points each. Yeah, and I think you probably do decent damage into <coughs> the blitz if you're able to hit them. They're six wounds or seven wounds? Or five wounds. I thought they were like five. So two side cannons going through. Again, AP two ignore cover. <laughs> So you get to so your four, four up saves. Yeah. So two of them kill Oblit. So I think that would be a great trade for the Oblitz. But Oblitz kill Forge Fiends, or these guys. Because the melted damage is fucking six. I'm not... You probably struggle into... Um, not not Vanguard, Onslaught, Space Marines, um, Iron Storm. Which one's that? That's the mass vehicles with the five up feel no pain or the sustained or whatever because it's just a high toughness army. Seems and I, good. And I think they outshoot you. Yeah, even toughness 12 now, I still win on fives. So anything uh, toughness. Wounds five, yeah. So you just need to put two through an obliterator to kill a base. Yeah. And there's only four bases. So with three dreads, I should Well, if they, if they take a whole unit, sure. But Most of like, time they run four. So I think I need two or three dreads to kill all four. And they're 340 points? 60. Yeah, 360 points. So I kill two of these guys are 360. Mm -hmm. So I think that'll be an even trade. Yeah. But again, they come down and nuke two Dread Knights with their damage six. Do they? Yeah. So they come within 12 and they have damage six with their Meltas. Oh yeah, 24 inch range. They only hit on threes though. So you only need one of them to be within six of that. D3, so average two, so it'd be eight shots. If they split fire, it'll be two shots it's each. Exploding on fives. Exploding on fives, so I don't know. Let's just say it was three shots each because uh, of the explosion, so it'd be 12 shots. Full reels. Uh, where are they getting the full? Oh, uh, Abby. undivided? Abby. Abby moves five? Five. And can move through shit. I think he can position against that. I think if Abby presents himself, I just shoot Abby. Oh no, he's got Nurgle. So I can't shoot yeah. him outside 18. Do they put them in a Terminator unit or? No. I mean, you might see that, but then I kill the Terminators. Yeah. <laughs> the Terminator super, unit's 710 points. So Abby and the Terminators are like 700 points. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't sound bad in the Chaos Space Marines. And I played Mike and it was just brutal. Uh, Tau, yeah, probably hard because they are like range 72. Or their moves... 18 or yeah. 16 with the advance and the cyclic picks up. Um, they can't split fire. Why? They're BS5 on the guys that split fire. Because mm. they have to do the whole guiding thing. Mm. So they can, they can take this expensive crisis unit and kill a single... I guess they could split fire with the commander and hit on threes. They'd be happy with that. Yeah. But. And I think if, because uh, then they. I'm not sure what the, breachers. I'm not sure what breachers do into you. Because they're like ten. No, shank five. Yeah, they're like, but they like reroll wounds. Nice. Um, I think breachers do decent into you. I think I just have to kill whatever can kill a dread knight, which are the. Fucking hammerheads. Yeah, and if you don't have that option, kill their uh, their spotters, like the piranhas and shit. Piranhas, uh, the um, Forge World unit, the two man that gives them reroll wounds, mm -hmm. whatever the Tetras. That's what. Yeah, that's what. Um, it is. Uh, Pathfinders, if they have them, I twice. Nice. So yeah, I think Tal would definitely be a, a tough matchup. Well, you only have to worry about Brian. That's like the only tell player in our melee. Yeah. yeah. But what well, and I guess Space Brains some shit. Yeah, but like Iron Storm has bad matchups in its own right. Because it's just like it's big holes that just shoot. It's kind of like the same as what you're dealing with, except I think they're more durable than you. Cause I think they get minus one damage on a dude or something like that. So next time we play this matchup. 
Yep. What do you do different? Um, because you put your monolith out on the objective. So there, there's three pieces that you don't lose for nothing in this list I've learned. It's the monolith and it's the two Catan. Mm -hmm. You can lose a Catan. It makes things hard if it's early. You lose the monolith any time during the game, like before turn like three, and it's really hard mm -hmm. to do anything. Because the whole thing is to three inch deep strike that and then poop out immortals. Mm -hmm. Two immortals. Yeah, well, or just the whole unit and then just shoot and then move on to the objective. And then meanwhile, you have like a freaking monolith there that you have to deal with, so you're not shooting the immortals. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think if I get. Also, this mission's weird because if, if there's an objective in the middle, it gets harder for you. Because how do, how do you shoot into the middle? You have to be holy within. I think I ignore it. Like, yeah. Because we did that the whole game. Your satans would have camped the middle. So you yeah. would have had five points every turn for a primary. Yeah, they, I mean, one probably would have moved over, but it depends. So that was, bef I mean, the grenade is kind of the same thing as me charging and doing a tank shock. Because mm -hmm. if I charge with one of my dreads and just do tank shock... That's 15, 16 dice. How many wraiths do you kill? Probably not a lot. That's three damage. So they're T6. So winning on threes. And it's three damage. They're four wounds and they're five up field that pain. So like it probably takes three wounds to kill a single wraith. Yeah. Like three unsaved wounds. Mm -hmm. um, if they roll well. But again, I don't think wraiths get into me. Like, you have to either make a 9-inch charge, or mm -hmm. I have to just place terribly. Yeah, I mean, they do have... They move out for 10? They move 10. They have a reactive uh, D6 move. Um, if you end a normal move, like a normal move. Mm -hmm. So, like, your whole deep strike thing is yeah. going to be weird with that. Yeah. Um, and they have loan op on a single unit, so that's weird. I think you worry about Canoptic more than this. Um, the rates? Yeah, cannot like the Canoptic Court, uh -huh. um, because they can take like Doom Stalkers and they're rerolling hits and they're strength twelve, so that, and they're like one hundred thirty five points, so yeah. they'll, tr they'll trade into you pretty easy. Yeah. Um, and then Wraiths, I think you struggle killing, and they're OC2, and they're all over the objectives, so it makes your game hard. Dark Angels? And Ultramarines. What, for colors? Or or maybe just Dark Angels in general, because they have like the minus one damage, minus one uh, arc attempt. So Dark Angels, Dark Angels is going to be weird, because minus one wound. depending on the event you go to, it's either going to be new rules, uh -huh. Um, which they haven't released the points yet, so there's no way there any events are allowing the new book. Mm -hmm. um, or they're just gonna wait until like they do a main release in like a couple months. Yeah, true. Because there's no really big GTs coming up, right? It's just all RGTs right now. I think there's like one local. I forget what it is. We have one in February or March. Uh, Play. Yeah. That's small. It's like nothing crazy. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, I'm trying to think what Drukari does into you because that's a wild card. They're probably quick and anti vehicle. Uh, so you kill their transport super well, which is good. <laughs> but they have a lot. Yeah. I, I, think, um, I think if they get into you, which they can if they want to. Um, cause they, that new detachment, they can move the transport, get out and then spend a CP to charge. That's insane. With a unit. So they could. Yeah. And then they get out three. Yep. I can't miss. It's not a normal move. <laughs> so they could basically move up right outside nine. Yeah. Come out within three and then have like a five inch charge. Yeah. Can you, when you missed shoot face or at the end of movement? Advance or fallback, but you can't do it in the charge phase. No. Okay. Yeah. So I think if Incubi get into you, they pick up a dude because mm -hmm. they're like AP three now. 
and right. with all of these hammers. And they're re-rolling wounds with the Arca, I think it is. Mm-hmm. Um, no, like damage to or something like that. Yeah, I think Incubi ruin your day and they're cheap. But you also can just like hit them real hard. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I need to go deal with stuff. Yeah, for once again, you're talking about army is getting a CP. Yeah, so. Yeah, I think the other hypercrypt variant that you worry about is like um, lots of locusts, lots of doomsday arcs. Uh, because then uh, they can probably outshoot you. I didn't do it this turn, but the Grandmasters can spend one CP and not be shot inside 12 inches. Mm-hmm. So I didn't think I needed that into you because you fucking teleport everywhere. You yeah. can always come within 12 inches. Yeah. But like there was a hypercrypt list that won a GT. Maybe it was like five and one. Maybe it didn't win. But it was like triple doomsday are it was just you know, like six locust destroyers, like twelve locust destroyers. It was just a lot of shit. It was basically just pick them up, drop them down, nuke something. And I think you maybe struggle with that, especially the locust destroyers because they're like one hundred and eighty points. Same as these guys. Um, two puts you to your four up, right? Mm-hmm. Um, Unless I spend CP. Yeah, so three up. You might have to spend the CP to save it because on average they're probably going to put... How much damage? It's two damage. So seven have to go through. 13 wounds. Okay, yeah, that changes things. <laughs> 13 <laughs> helps out a lot. Because I was like averaging killing a war dog or like an armager, like in cover. If I'm in cover, I have a two up. Yeah, and uh, that was just a five up to a four up. Mm-hmm. So I was like barely averaging killing one with a, but like that's an even trade. Yeah. 180. Mm hmm. Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess in Hypercrypt they don't. They need a character then. So they're like 270. Mm-hmm. And then they just get shot by the yeah. other four dreads. Yeah, it's like 18 wounds at T6. So. Three wounds each? Three wounds each. Like you'll kill them. <laughs> yeah, you'll kill them, but. <laughs> Point is to have a bunch of other stuff. Yeah, I mean that's cheap for 180. Basically, you have five units of that. You could. I almost think like if you're gonna take dread knights, you take five. Like I, I don't, was, I don't think you take like one or two because then it's like, what are you really doing with that one or two? I think three is a good number. Yeah, but let's say I killed one or two of these. You still have three to pick up and alpha strike me with. If I kill two or one, now you only have two. Now you're not killing your targets. When you pick them up, there's a list. Uh, in basically, you can do instead of the Grandmaster, you mm-hmm. can do a Land Raider. Okay, so you have like put last the, put, hand shots. To put the Terminators in, you take Kodias out mm-hmm. and a Grandmaster, and you have a Land Raider with four last hand shots. Yeah, instead of the Dread Knight, which might be better. It's a big footprint, though. Yeah, but it's just sitting on your home field objective and just waiting next to a tech priest, so it gives it plus one hit. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think um, everything we can think of is probably going to be somewhat wrong over the next few months. Yeah. Like, I know Necrons are going to be good. Hypercrypt's probably one of the better ones just because of mission play. But there's, like, a bunch of shit in this book that no one's even played with. So, cool. Then thanks for the game. Yeah, thanks for the game. All right, gents. Even thanks for watching. Got my butt slapped. <laughs> I mean, you you were like the third person to see the new Green Knights, and now you're the third person to be scared of them. <laughs> I'm just having flashbacks. Oh God.